Oh yeah, it, they're like kobolds. They rarely live over the age of forty. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, half orcs, uh, half orcs only live uh, uh, only live max until the age of um, seventy five. I yeah, think but... there's an exception for. And that's in captivity. Yeah. <laughs> parrots tend to live for fucking ever. All right. Let me see. I wrote notes last time, I swear. Oh, God. And my no. CPU is about to light on fire because I have like six applications open. Why? Because uh, I have a Google Chrome, a Discord, a Notepad, two PowerPoints, and X Split. And a phone. <laughs> <laughs> guess, me. guess starring my roommate this will be the greatest episode of the dynamics ever I can't wait oh god and failure we're game. all gonna die we're all gonna die and I know I, I had to restart because my, my roll 20 was uh, was was poop Wabbit. it became Wabbit poop Wabbit keeps saying that we're all gonna die but no one listens Wabbit. That's because bundle. Well, I mean, keeps, it's because bundle keeps saying, "Keep calm and carry on, and quit being a fuckwad." And, fe uh, and fell keeps saying, uh, <laughs> and fell tries to say, "We're all gonna die, so why not?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, will evil. nuzzle the Earth Ma gently. <laughs> I know all the old wounds. It's almost like I created them or something. Yeah, it's, it's almost like it's, it's, it's almost like you were the cause of their research of their surgeons. <laughs> Excuse me. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yes, you are. Take disadvantage on all saves for the next ten hours. Well, the f oh, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, last time Alex. on the dynamics of good and evil. Dalek, the Wabbit Paladin, Rania, the Halfling Druid, Dashkin, the Barbarous Dragonborn, Bundle, the Tabaxi Ranger, and Mephisto Bard Extraordinaire Feliana had arrived at Fort Lippy after a brief stopover at the Three Half Moons Hostel. The crew made their way towards the Burlesque Club, the Crossed Cups, where they made an acquaintance with the C.O. Du Fayette, a Penguin Kenku, very cantankerous and a bit tricky sort. They then also made the acquaintance of Pleasure, the quartermaster of Fort Leper. Fort, Fort Lippy. Ugh. Leper. And they acquired rooms for the evening. Next morning, the crew... Uh, oh, before they went to bed, Bundle took notice of a curious individual uh, inhaling massive amounts of alcohol at the bar, but he couldn't get close enough because of quote-unquote royal business. The crew slept, the company slept over, woke up, and after some morning training and breakfast, as well as some quick skimming of their diplo diplomatic bags, Bundle and Feliana set off to meet up with C.O. Fayette, where they once again ran into the mysterious hooded masked figure who reeked of whiskey and gin. After a short wait, the figure left and they were ushered in to meet with Du Fayette. Meanwhile, Talek, aro Talek arose the curiosity of Pleasure, who kept badgering him. And we left off last time with the CEO Fayette realizing who the dynamics are representing on their humble pass through the fort. And she closed the book, saying, Well, it seems we have something very firm to talk about then. And so, yeah, we're going to start off with Rania and Talek. I want to see what they're up to before we jump into the headlong crap. Oh my God. I'm, I'm back, by the way. I'm oh. back. Okay, so we start off with the, with the bench warmers. Mm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's see what Talek's doing first. Let's do him. Okay, wait, is Rania is Rania Italic in the same yeah, area? No. What? What? Give it a sec. Oh, Red Roommate was talking more. Yeah. 
Put a ball gag on that dude. No. We will get him in the campaign eventually when he gets off his podcast. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Ronnie was saying something. Yeah. Um, do tell us first. I'm curious. He he hasn't been around and he hasn't really he had a lot of time to argue. Who? What? Do tell us first. Okay. Talek, you Whoa. see the outline of Plesher staring at you from behind a tree. <laughs> <laughs> he turns his back as his ears would drop down, just knowing that she's just staring into his soul as, you wa as he walks up, looking for Dash again. Hopefully he can help me out. But where's I Dash again? I think at this point, Dash can still kicking it with the people training if they're still training. Oh yeah, you broke some guys' ribs. <laughs> I, think, I think we're relatively even matched, even evenly matched, even though I came out on top. Yeah, even though you were a good two feet on him, he managed to keep stride with you for the most part. Yeah, but I, I think I did win that. But yeah, after that, Dash can just if if no one else wants to spar with him, he'll just watch the other sparring go on. Aye, aye. So, yeah, Talek, still all alone. Uh, damn it. Well, actually, no, you're not alone. <laughs> I watch you while you sleep. <laughs> Talek takes up speed and just run it and start and just does a little fast walk towards well. Looking for somebody he knows. I imagine she's doing the Pepe Le Pew, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sounds like someone has an admirer. Oh, God. You want her? You're welcome to have her. At least I'd know what to do in the situation rather than running like, <laughs> running like a little biatch. <laughs> Shots fired. I don't cry to run your shrugs. I'm not sure if I can do that way right now. So what is Rania doing yeah. since we're finally getting to that? <laughs> Probably still doing experiments on his uh, uh his better berries and good berries. Trying to figure out if there's anything neat you can do with that since uh, the last couple Now are you using the good berry spell to make more better berries or are you using druid craft? I think I'm going to use Druid Craft to make the better berries into something interesting because okay. right now I got 56 better berries. That reminds me, I should actually break out my book and my dice. Okay. Well, what happened? <laughs> mm -hmm. What happened? Alright. So, so. I got 56 better berries. I wonder what happened if I uh, wish it would cast it on all of them. Probably would destroy the universe. So probably should keep it down to like I don't know, ten or. Uh, oh, that's your inner coward there. talking. Hmm? No, no, no. It's, it's just me not wanting to spend more. I stand by money. what I said. <laughs> what? You, 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 you try to make me uh, uh, yeah, try to make me roll the dice on uh, on these butterberries? Hmm? He can't make you do anything. I didn't. I didn't make any suggestions. I just talk about what I what I hear. Do it then. All right. Let's see that Arcana check. Okay. So, uh, let's say that I do fifty. I want to keep those six. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. So he starts laying down a bunch. Of better berries in front of them, just an entire pile, like an offering to the god, or just like stacked all um, uh, all in front of them, like a tiny little pyramid. You make a tiny like okay, mound of like, berries. Yes. Yeah. Of course, they're all about the size of grapefruit, so it's actually yeah, a sizable mound. It's like you could probably the, the Aracocra in the forest can probably see it. Like, hey, what's that over there? Oh yeah. <laughs> She starts to rub her hands together and puts them together in like some sort of weird hand sign just for the hell of it. 
Oh boy! Oh, you have to give yourself guidance. And so, Arcana! First roll in the campaign after so many, so much time. Please let it be good. Or bad. Absolutely, at this point, it can go either way, and I still wouldn't care. Ha! So dead average. And, uh, <laughs> roll that D4. What does that say about, uh, about the camp? <laughs> okay, Ranya's chin falls off. God! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not my Oh, I am sure. Okay, what do I get from the 50 Butterberries with a 12? Uh... I'm gonna roll something. Ooh! Okay. Um... Nothing <laughs> happens except for the fact that the, s that the stems... Like little like tomato like uh, stems they have, they're now sp they're now sparkling like sparklers. Oh god! That sounds Wait, amazing oh, and terrifying. All fifty of them? Yep. Do I notice if they're like lessening? If they're what? Does it look like it's a fuse situation? Is it starting to like get closer? To the actual berry. Oh, is it like wick, like a wick? Yeah. No, no, it's just sparks are emanating from where the stems once were. Like the stems are not the 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 sparks are in the shape of what the stems were once were. Mm. Rania licks her finger and then puts it towards the stem, wondering if it's hot or not. Do I see if it's hot or not? All right. Uh. What would this even be? Oh. I'm gonna put it back in my pack. Deck it's save. Me on fire. Oh, ha! Nine. Okay, no, it's like you, it's like you poked your finger in electrical socket. Like, <laughs> Wait, electricity? Oh god! Ah. I said they were sparkling okay. like sparklers. Okay. Oh, uh, so it's some like, uh, is it uh, hot? sensation, or is it like electricity sensation? It's like, oh, why did I make this? That sounds like an electricity reaction. You're being electrocuted, yes. Okay. You take... four points electricity damage. Damn. Where is this happening, and do either me or Talix see it? Hmm... Hello. Hmm? After after about like ten seconds, you finally. You, after about three seconds, you finally react your hand away. Like oh. Okay. Um. That's that's interesting. Her hair now looks like Merlin from that one frame of Sword in the Stone. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. Uh, uh, Rodney up repetitions her hair back to how it was and like reties it like. Oh, I've made a lot of something, all right. Uh, oh God, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, what do you do? There's a lot of these. I should. Oh yes. Uh, what have you done? Uh, wait. Was was that someone, or was it just you talking? Pleasure standing right above you. Oh God. Oh hi hi um. I'm not actually sure, but do not touch them. Uh, I'm 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 running some tests to figure out what it actually is. Hold on a second. She's actually um, gonna reach. Do you ignore you? And she's already reaching down for one. No 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 no! That hurt. Ow, ow, actually, pain, she pain. picks it up. It's like ooh, bit of a shock there, and just holds it in her hand. Like hmm. Uh, be careful with those. I don't know what they do yet. No no, she's Other holding it in her hand like an orange. Like hmm. A little, oh. bit, little shocking. Okay. But she's still reacting normally. Um... I am not liable for anything that happens to you if you try to eat one of those. Eat? Are you yeah, like some sort that. of like... Are you some sort of like steel chef contestant? Uh... Let's say yes. Yes, that, uh, that is as good of an ex explanation as any. Uh, no, no, Mithril I, Chef. I, I'm sorry, Mithril Chef will probably be the equivalent. 
Probably. Nipple shift. <laughs> like, I am trying to make a new ingredient. And I think I succeeded. I'm not sure of how these things would end up tasting. But even if they don't taste great, I have a feeling they'll have an interesting application one way or another. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, then we're going to transition to the diplomacy people. No, God. So, uh, Phil, you ate a berry before you got to the office. Yes. Okay. I remember she had to do some checks. Or rather, some people around her had to do some checks. All right. So, um, who's going to be doing the talking first? <clears throat> well, Bundle explained why we were there. So, let's suppose. Yeah, and then she closed and her also, book like, "Oh, I guess we are going to talk business then." And so, Bundle just looks to Fell and gives her a nod as he pulls out the actual things that we need. The, the, the little small notebook that we had that we need to talk about and has everything in big, bold writing, the major points. Phil <laughs> looks back to... A, um, a Fayette, and she... Uh, and she says, we were hoping to... Uh, we were hoping to, uh, to possibly negotiate... Uh, negotiate open... Uh, uh, open opens for relation between uh, between the keep uh, between this keep and the fa and the fake keep hmm interesting most interesting why you and bundle will say because they figured that those who are more of the land, more accustomed to the area around here, would be a little bit more well received than rather, say, one of their kind. Well, no one spotted a high, f no one spotted a uh, high fay in these parts in a good uh, hundred fifty years. No certain reason why. Heck, they were. The conflict was over just before I was born. Well, no, it was about a hundred years, I should say. So, yeah, it was about a generation and a half ago. Um, my ripe old age, I barely... Re I can barely comprehend, but I've heard stories. So, you're here to negotiate trade? Yes. That is correct. Do you have specifics of what they're going to open trade with? Yeah. Don't forget the prisoners! I know, I know about the prisoners! I literally wrote it down! <laughs> Don't yeah. worry, we already have a system. Back out of it, Dash. I thought you were in the middle of fucking field training. Stop it, Andrew. Stop it with, the, uh, with, these, with this metagaming pigeon. If I see a pigeon, I'm going to shoot it. So to God. <laughs> Alrighty. Seems like I struck a nerve. Uh, so, yeah. <sighs> Well, we uh, we were hoping uh, we were, they were hoping to expand the boundaries between uh, uh, between trade uh, uh, between uh, uh, for the uh, for trade and possibly open a trade line for magical uh, uh, magical items uh, items crystals pearls uh, pearls but there's mm. also one more but there's also one more thing they were um, they desired. All right. The release. Um, oh, sorry. Yes, her eyes kind of perk up a little bit. The mention of magical items, almost as if she's sort of like, okay. But not. Uh, but not only that. Uh, that also the trade of labor and possibly weapons. Okay. And um, but uh, but they also uh, uh, they also wanted to discuss the release of the elven prisoners. Here in the keep. Blinks. Oh. Um, 
Yes, from what we understand, and this conflict is well beyond over. Am I, uh, am I right? You're not wrong. Well, seeing as how uh, the conflict should not be really part of the part of a bad situation, there shouldn't be any need for ill blood. So, if at all possible, we would like to at least discuss the terms that would be available to us if we were to request such a thing. Yes. We understand. We understand that this may be a bit of a bold, bold question to ask, but we are fully aware that we may be turned away from such a thing. So if that is on the table, what do you believe would be fair terms? There is like a horn on her desk that she walks over to and taps it and you hear from the horn the yes me me ma canal uh Zanesby, bring me the uh the file on the conflict ah uh, yes yes good canal so you have a phone system it seems like it a filing or a what a phone uh, system no no there's like a like it looks like a like a, a brass horn just sitting on her desk that connects down into the floor. You assume yeah, through no. the desk. Uh, the, oh, the, the type of thing that you see on pirate ships, correct? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah like tube system. She's like, she I'm, immediately prim, primps her coat and goes, Huh, I wasn't aware of such conditions. I wasn't aware we still had prisoners. Neither were we until we were told of uh, their <laughs> their stay here by the yeah. the fa- the fails themselves. Yes, and they curious. And they they do desire uh, the release, the possible release of them. Release on terms, of course. We don't have any prisoners except for a few strays who wander in and cause trouble. But uh, mm-hmm. Zanesby will be here in a in a tung. The the door is kicked and uh, she goes. I can't open the damn door to open his life. I just walks over, opens the door, and there is the the bespectacled boy with a uh, hello. I have found the file, and he holds out this like big old chest that's about the size of a small armchair, and damn. he hands it over and is like, ah. And she's like, hmm, thank you, Zanesby, yeah, that'll be all. All right. And the door closes, and she opens the chest, like, okay. General activities, surrounding activities, fort activities, here we go. And opens the file to a, to a specific tome, and it's like, all right, so let me see. Let me see about inventory towards the end of the war. We, we all inherit these files, it's very hodgepodge and compiled on a whim. So let me see. Da, 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 da. We had a total of two elven prisoners since we were in the middle of the s- rough by the Spindlewood. What the heck are they going to attack out here? They they were all heading toward the fort. They all wanted to get towards uh, I don't know, the Mage Academy or pff, the Marsh Swamp would be a better target than us I suppose. But and I said, oh. Well. She knocks on the horn again. Zanesby, you, did you ever find any other addendum files? Uh, no, no, Madame, Madame Canal, that is all. Hmm. Okay, thank you. <coughs> and she, she sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> There's like oh, dust. God. Oh, we haven't touched this file. In a while. Yeah, um, I guess you're right. It says, indeed, we did have two prisoners, and it does not notate that we ever released them. But my brig has been fairly empty recently. Might we have a look? Uh, just to confirm? No. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Damn it! Oh! 
fuck? <laughs> Should have left. You Bella are wearing that. the epaulets. I am. So that that gives me advantage on pers on persuasion. Yes, for now. Okay. She's not pissed oh. at you, so. All right. I, I have a one, so. You can do this. You can do this. Come on. You could literally give him inspiration. Fuck yes. <laughs> huh. That's a, well, that works. <laughs> All right, she motions you over to the desk, but she's not moving from the desk. All right. Um, we, we, go move, over. we move over. All right, and she's pointing to a... Sp she flips back a few pages. All right, here's the inventory for the week before the conflict ended. And it shows, like, uh, imports, exports, maneuvers. And on the back, there's brig capacity. And it does indeed say that there were two elven prisoners, Zalus and Simthir. Can you spell those for us? Zalus and Cynthia, like, huh. And as she's staring back at the page, she's like, wait a tick. Okay, she scrolled with advantage because I don't want it to be that stupid. God damn it. Oh. Alright, uh, she. She blinks the names like, those names look familiar, why? And don't say because I'm looking at them, I'm not that. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have even ushered the thought. Of course not. I've seen this. Wrong, you might have. <laughs> I've heard the name recently. Gods, why? Why can't it help me? Crimony. Could. Could. But should Bundle and Feliana be making history checks? I mean, they can roll history yet. checks at disadvantage. Because, I mean, we've never heard that name before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll try. <laughs> yeah, seven. <laughs> That's cer you know those what? certainly are elven names. I don't think you're going to get any more disadvantage than that. <laughs> yeah, we have no clue. Those certainly are names. Those are names. I don't say- I, I'm not saying this out loud, I'm saying this in out of character. Well then, now Bundle's just gonna ask, is there any report on the activity of the prisoners, perhaps? That's what I was asking about from Zanesby. Unfortunately, apparently we don't have any addendum files to this. Hmm. And I really don't have to go digging through the, through the basement archives again. That was terrible enough when I first moved in. White mold everywhere. God! And those mushrooms! Yes. Pretty it's, sure we lost at least one cabin boy. That sounds terrible. Wait, mushrooms? Yes. Hey. I would like to speak to these mushrooms. I'm sure you would. <laughs> you know how long it took us to burn out that horde, that horde of fungus? Weeks. Maybe I can convince them to move away. Well, you're not there. <laughs> well, at this point, Bundle's like, well. We have to report back something, and if you've misplaced prisoners, this will not look too good. Yes. I couldn't have misplaced them, although I've seen those names before, because because when I got here, the only prisoners in the brig were the blacksmith, because he threw a table through the bar window, because they stole his hammer for a bottle opener, and then there was also... Um... The the former drill instructor had gotten a little tipsy and decided to have in some indecent exposure time around the brig. So, and I and they were not elves. They were they were both dwarves. I know the difference. Well, it is rather rather astute of you, but as it is. Mm, Fuck, where have I seen those names? Mm. Have they been a, have they been around pro well one I I can't really think of a way to help her out. By Shit. the Lord of the Sun, I know this. 
she goes over to an altar in the corner. She's like, all right, uh, maybe by meditating in front of Azratel I can get help. Maybe Bagaya would know them. Me, while she's doing this, I'm tr I'm gonna coach, uh, Fell, to if she if she is at all, um, nervous or concerned about what we should be asking for. I tell her since this since this full pars is is happening, this is in her favor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, while well, you're while well, you're glancing back after that little comment, you you glance around and you notice there is a book just hanging off the shelf on uh, on uh, right behind directly behind her desk and chair. It, no, it oh, looks like it's about to fall off the shelf because it's hanging so far off. Um, does it look like if I and she and she's preoccupied, right? Yeah, she is busy. Praying, she lit a candle. Oh, hey! Wow, that's actually Mer. not bad. That that that's a double nat nineteen. So, Damn. Wow. so uh, she just pokes the candle and it lights, and it shines an absurd white light. Like this is a candle. Like whoa, that's that's a different type of candle. And she just sits there in a meditative trance for about two minutes. She's like, oh, I've got it! The butcher! Mm -hmm. The butcher? The, did she say the butcher? I believe she did. <laughs> but what does a meat carver have to do with anything? The butcher has two endangered servants! Why didn't I remember? Ah. Uh... Here's the thing, they've been very they weird because we offered them vacation time, <laughs> and they refused. What? Wait, why would they refuse? I wouldn't think it's to have vacation time. God damn it, hang on, give, give me one second. I don't even... As he steps out, of the, uh, steps out of the room. Okay, sorry. I I did not hear a word you had said after the the after the butcher. It kept did it, going did in. Did anyone out. else hear me? I, I did. Heard, yeah. Okay. Uh, it it yep. was on my side. It was okay. on my side. Ba basically, they said that you know, and she said that the you know, that the butcher had two um two yeah. What she said. And they okay. also get vacation time, which is weird because I don't even get. To and the, and they time. refused vacation time. Why hmm. would they refuse Which is to weird, change? because he's been trying to get rid of them for years, but they won't leave. That's why <laughs> I remember them. What the fuck? Well then, if it would... If, if we may, might we have a word with them? Oh, sure, sure. Um, I think they're closed for lunch now, but you can probably meet them up in about another half hour or so. Uh, All right. I'm sorry. Um, oh, wait a minute. You're, you're diplomats, correct? Um, yes. It's, I'm a little rusty in my diplomacy, but uh, is this something you're supposed to give me? Ah, uh, yes. She looks the bundle. He pulls out one of the decorative pins, the one specifically that's meant for the person that is supposed to be uh, signing the signing any agreements. Oh. Oh. I. I still remember this. I remember there was a signet ring involved. Uh, oh, okay. But I, I, I accept. And uh, takes that. Like, thank you. Uh, it's nice pen, I suppose. It's. Weren't there also scry orbs or something? Uh, there was. There were rolls. Else. There were squirrels. Scrolls, yeah. Uh, there was um, something stationary. I remember. Stationary, yes. I pulled out the stationary yeah, as well. I forgot. <laughs> I'm yeah, because I was DM. like, I should have let you guys remember that. I was like, I remember there was also something you needed to give her. To Give the port people so they can communicate with the fake heat. I wait. Didn't Phil take that? Because I didn't have it in my book. In my in my. I, uh, uh, I, I took it, uh, and um, Phil takes out the the stationary, uh, the stationary that she uh, that she um she takes out the stationary and fuck. I don't know how to oh, how to. You just hand it to her. Yeah, I just hand it to her. <laughs> sorry. I'm nervous! I'm scared! I'm sorry! Get on with it! Shut up! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just relax. 
We love Just you, game. Panda. <laughs> All right, so yeah, she takes the stationery and the pen. Like, oh, looks at the looks at the purple and white ribbon. Like, interesting. Ah, oh, then. It's a Not, means for us to uh, for us to communicate back to the does, um, back to the fake heap. Does this even work? Like, okay, she unties the stationery. Like, oh, let's see. Uh, greetings, fake heap lord. You don't happen to know the name of the current priestess, do you? She's about to write down. Sh should I? Hi. Like. Uh, yes. Her name Hi. is. You yes. silly the switch. Uh, no, 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 not the switch. <laughs> Fuck no. Uh, sorry. No, no, no. I no, shit. see uh, no. the. No, 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 no. Hold on. No, no, no. The no, no, no. uh, she of many angles. There's a reason I took these notes down as well. No, yes, it's it's the silly hi uh, hideaway. Uh, hideaway of the northern air elves. Thank you. <laughs> Cause if yeah, you I, was said, like a, I was like, what name do we use? Because she specifically said, do not call her the switch. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that now. It's oh, been no. a while. I, I sent you my notes on this, too. No, I know, but uh, no, I know, but uh, but I didn't know, uh, but it, but I didn't know if I should have uh, should have called uh, called her one or the other, and I forgot, I forgot which one. You guys are nuts. I'm nuts. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> we tell her Yasili Hideway of the Nor Northern Elves. Isley Highwood. Isley Highwood. Isley Highwood. Isley Highwood of the Northern Elves. You know what uh, I'm trying to say, goddammit. <laughs> Alright, uh, so she writes in a quick note, uh, opening communications to Isley Highwood, this is Xio Fayette, just scrolls that down, and as she fi as she dots the eyes on this sincerely, the paper folds up and rockets out the window. <laughs> well, there huh. it goes. I'm certainly glad you or Zanesby weren't standing in front of that window, I'm afraid of what would have happened. As am I, now that I've seen how that actually works. <laughs> he says bundle as he You never tested your stationery, did you? No. <gasps> then again, <laughs> I don't believe we were asked to do so. Yes, it is true. Well, no, I don't think like we've had... Th I don't think we've had reason to test it out <laughs> yet. <laughs> it is true. Alright, so... She's like, oh, that happened, and then... A red butterfly land flies in the window very slowly, does a little loop in the air, and lands uh -huh. on the desk. Like, um, is this one of their? The butterfly opens dramatically, like it just folds out and out and out and out and out, like like a folded piece of paper. And oh and he's like, oh, um, the uh, greetings, CFA. How are you? How are our prisoners? Please give them back. Huh. Well, I'd say communications have been opened, for okay? sir. Yeah. This is good. This is, this is good. Very, very good. We just gotta talk to those boys down at the butcher shop. Um, um I, I, I will give her a message as soon as you talk to her. Uh, that, them. Not not her. I, I need you to talk to them, and then I will talk to her. <sighs> I, need to steal, I need to steal something. I didn't say that. <laughs> no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. I want to roll insight. I heard that. Phil's going to roll insight as well, because she's, uh, she's been stolen from before. I heard her. God damn it. <laughs> I need to peel something? Fuck. What? Fellow, you just freeze like... <gasps> Peak bundle flashbacks. I need to peel something? I need to feel something? <laughs> well, anywho. Like, her fingers twitch on the, Her, like, feathered fingers twitch. She's like, oh, God, God. Oh, Blades, what are you doing? Get back up there. And pushes the, the book that was hanging off the shelf back in. He's like, you hear a... He's like, ah, ah, I, I saw you trying to do that. It's not going to work on me. Bundle's just gonna ask, is everything alright? Oh. Yeah, it's it it's just the book. It does this. It wants attention. Paul just Paul's just so, freezing up. He raises his brow even more. The book. 
It also wants too. blood. <laughs> what? It, she grabs she grabs an oven mitt off the bookshelf next to it, puts it on, and then grabs the book and points it to you, and you see a title, Blades, by Gloria Cutter. Oh. Is that book a mimic? It, what's with why does it want blood? Can I roll Arcana or something on that? <laughs> She 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 flips the book around at the opposite cover. It's like, rent one get one free, all the weapons you want. What? What? <laughs> Bundle just looks confused. She she flips it to the side to show you the, the the like outline of the pages, like the opposite side of the binding. Okay. There's a few blood stains, but there's also some shiny inside those pages. <laughs> Don't reach in. Don't reach in. Don't reach in. <laughs> um. What's your preferred weapon of choice, boy? Uh, Bundle just kind of shrugs and says, I, I'm an archer by trade, so um, bow and arrow. Uh, nothing pointy besides arrows? Uh, well, I, I tend to dabble with daggers. All right. Show me, show me a dark dagger. And the, uh, the, pit, the book flips dagger. open, and rising out of the book like a pop-up is a dark green dagger that looks like it's made of paper. Interesting. That is incredible. And taking the it, she grabs it and lifts it out, and as she lifts it, the paper like crumbles away from it and reveals a perfectly sit, set steel dagger. Wow. That is wow. incredible. That is you put a blacksmith out of business. I was going to roll Arcana on that book. Go for it. I'm curious. And that's a 14. Not my best. <laughs> um, You've seen a magic book before, and that certainly looks like a magic book. It's, like, it's a magic yeah, book. Yeah, it, it, huh. it, it, it makes sense. They're, though you, th you typically think you rent books from a library, not rent things from a book. Um, the Wait, bundle just kind of thinks for a moment and says, "That will be uh, a topic for later." Um, Wait, does, does that thing say two for one? Does what say two for one? That book said two for one, right? What is the one that it requires? I don't know. It said rent. Uh, I think it said rent one weapon, get one free. Oh. Uh, then he just says, "Oh, it the book just makes weapons, just out of thin air." No, it's no, it stores weapons. Oh. It's got, I believe, at last count, uh, about forty-eight, forty, no, forty-five weapons. We've we've lost a good portion of them. They used to be so over a hundred. So people which, just, uh, I'm sorry, but people just don't seem didn't seem to return them. The previous owners, plus there's huh. a damn Max who got in here. Eh. Max, uh, Max? F former bosun. He was he he liked sharp things, and then I he see. then he deserted with all with about half with about twenty pages worth. Mm. Sorry to hear that, Thanks. though. Mm. Though I am surprised to see a an armory in a in a book. Yeah, well, it's kind of, be surprised it's by a lot of things. Something tells me we're gonna find a lot more paper weapons around. Maybe, you don't know. <laughs> Maybe if we return them all, we'll get a special gift. Lord. Uh, also, maybe <laughs> one percent <but>. completion <laughs> run. <laughs> God damn it, no. <laughs> we have too many quests as it is. I don't God, need that on my no. head, too. <laughs> if we come across them, it wouldn't hurt. It's like, it's, like Dragon, uh, it's like Dragon Age Inquisition. The quests are freaking endless. Exactly. Doable, and they don't stop endless. coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, Bundle's just gonna be like, well, that is fascinating but we 
do we we would love to speak with the with the prisoners and uh once we are done there perhaps we can talk about the opening of trade oh yeah you're gonna you're gonna have run down to cam's butchery it's over on the opposite end of town from the burlesque just hmm. just follow the road the other direction from the burlesque and you'll you'll run into it all right. uh, all it's right. got a it's got a big fi- it's got a big bright cleaver on the front of the building can't miss it will do and um thank you but although there is the question of terms yes we get to speak with them but would that be discussed at a later later time no I, as far as I'm aware I didn't have any prisoners so they're free as far as I'm concerned I mean it's been a oh. hundred and twenty hundred thirty years why the heck would I keep someone that long fair That's enough just rude. we just hope that the others that we have to speak with are uh, as understanding as you are <laughs> well I hope there's been some turnover in the in the seat in the commanding officers recently in that case I mean, Roderick... Roderick should still be active, but he doesn't hold too many grudges. Oh. Hold grudges. Writing that down. <laughs> but I'm... So, yeah. Um, yeah, if you want to come back after your stuff to let me know what's going on, that would be... That would be quite... I would approve. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna put this dagger back and just plunges it into the neckline of the book and it just sinks in and gets wrapped up by the by the green paper and sinks back into the book. Damn. Of course. Nicks me. Damn thing. The book kind of burbles and appreciates <laughs> <laughs> It's a terrifying book, but I kind of want a weapon for it. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. You of could course. you you want a weapon? I, I want the book. But <laughs> is there any preferred time that we should uh, that we should return? Let me see. What are my appointments today? Clicks the horn. Zanesby. <laughs> yes, your my 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 delightful canal. Stop that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what are my appointments look like for the later this afternoon? Well, you have to oversee the latrine, Captain. Click. Yeah, I'm. I'm perfectly free this entire afternoon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, perhaps we can. If if uh, then a uh, bundle looks to uh, fell and sees if if she will be all right as he's asking this. Well, perhaps um, we can actually discuss uh, these matters since we're on. I would say fairly good terms over a drink. If that's all right with you. Hmm. Oh, you're telling us to do to to Colonel Fiat. To yeah, Colonel Fiat. Okay. Though you're talking to Fell. Like, oh, hmm. I'm Rain. telling this to the Colonel, but I'm looking to Fell to see if she's okay with this idea. And Fell nods and uh, nods and and, uh, and says what she uh, what she said with a smile, looking at Colonel Fiat. I'm not the one who's wooed by drinks that much. That would be Bergaya, but eh, she's on her way back to the king. Uh, I can arrange a small bottle of wine to be shipped up from the bomb. You can meet me here back at my office around, say, uh, three, four hours from now, depending on when you get your uh, your your errands run. Uh, that'll, of course. That'll work smoothly, ma'am. Um, thank you for your time for meeting with us, and uh, we'll be right back with you. All right. And... Phil does a little uh, 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 bows a bit and she proceeds to start exiting the room. Alright. And Bundle follows uh, close behind her, but he looks back to her to see if she's still fidgeting. No, no, she's just trying to she's trying to put the book away with the oven like, come on, get back in there, get back in there. That's that's your hidey place, that's where you're gonna stay. <laughs> I gotcha. love it. And Bundle's gonna be like, neat, and then m- m- keep on moving. Uh, so yeah, you guys make your way out the big white door. The uh, Zane's bead nods to you on your way out, and there is like a, a trio of uh, there, there's a trio of human soldiers waiting in line. Like, oh boy, I hope, hope she'll see the book again. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good, Where? I think. Where are we in relation to Bundle and Bell right now? Yeah, and you, you guys should. make it out of the building, and... And Fel, gives, uh, and Fel lets out the biggest bre uh, breath, she, uh, breath she's been holding in ever since they got out of that office. The Bundle trees just... blow in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> and then they light Bund on fire. <laughs> Bundle just just like Dash in his experience with food. Oh. <laughs> I think that went pretty well so far. Bundle just looks to her and says, You have got to get a grip. I am we not were... a diplomat. <laughs> yeah, you're the one with the highest charisma in the party. I'm a, uh, I'm a traitor, not a diplomat. But Bundle just sighs and says, Look, we're just here to facilitate means of getting things done. We're not here to save the world one one meeting at a time so no <laughs> no sense in uh, building getting getting all worked up just relax and talk all right i mean i wasn't really i mean there was only one thing i was nervous about and that's when she said she was going to steal again she, Wait. she she has a thousand yard stare uh, bundle just looks at her like steal what do you mean steal back at the Back at the burlesque club when you were outside, she uh, she managed to snatch my uh, she managed to snatch my, uh, my my locket from me, and I didn't even see. Bundle's eyes go wide. <laughs> she gave he's, it back, but he's now he's now checking himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll investigation. Paranoid. <laughs> oh boy. Is that still there? Yeah. Is that still there? Yeah. Am I forgetting something? Um, 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 um. She scares me. But, she, but I admire her. Um, is missing you don't Alyssa. find anything missing. Well then, once I feel like... Good. I'm, I'm no thief. Nor do I want to say that I know how a thief works. But <laughs> if she is... If she has uh, very uh, delicate touches like I do, I want to make. Sure, I would be sure to keep a hold of anything that's important. Or oh, don't worry. That... I've already been doing that since we left the club. Good. Now, uh, do you need anything to help you relax as we go on our merry way? He says, look, uh, motioning towards the, the road that we need to take. You guys are heading straight to the butcher shop. Yep. Yep. I, okay. I assume so. She uh, fell. Uh, fell size. Uh, size like. No, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I think I'll. I'll be okay. All right. Just let me know. We can share, share a cigarette if we need to. Keep that in mind. <laughs> it smokes. Uh, it smokes. Full habits into my family-friendly stream. Uh, and I'm, a, I'm a literal devil. <laughs> Let's say bundle is anything but family friendly. <laughs> There's everyone else in this party, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you guys make your way to the to the burlesque club. And you're like, okay, opposite road. So you just look at the way you came in, and like you head towards there, and eventually you do see around a bend, right by the front gate, there is a big shop with a cleaver splitting like an animal skull open that says Cam's Meat Market. Oh. Huh. I guess that's it. A little on the nose, don't you think? Uh, maybe marketing. Uh, uh, he's trying to call it attention to his business. Makes sense. Yeah, you guys yeah. approach the business and there is a sign, a uh, little, little uh, paper sign when it says, back Back in twenty lunch. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Well, uh, Bundle just puts his ear to the door to see if he hears anybody in the back. In, that's actually inside. You hear munching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like that. 
Okay, that's not munching. That's gorging. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, bundle just there was says, a knot right. hole just below the lock. Uh, well, I looked through the knot hole. Your eyes get poked out. There's a big beefy elf sitting there eating a salad. <laughs> it's full of like radishes and what looks like strawberry stems, and some vines that you think are snakes for a second. I'm like, no, no, it's just they're moving, but they're a lot. Wait a second. Can I roll investigation to get to see if I can squint my eyes and get a better look? Uh, perception. Percep okay, that's fine. That's, that's even better, actually. Really? <laughs> Is that a oh my god. Oh. We're going to die. We're going. I, we're not no, gonna he's die. Not gonna I'm die. just he's gonna get it infected. So, <sighs> in pushing your eye closer to the knot hole, you actually get poked. Like, ah. <laughs> yeah, just the only splinter on that bottom half of the door. It's like <laughs> pokes him in the eye. In the eye. What do so I see? Just, like, good. So you just you see, see like bundle start moving forward. <laughs> they. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he's holding his eye, he's hissing, <laughs> he's trying to not curse. <laughs> is... I'm really like, well I am good. I am fucking good. <laughs> he, he says it's growling. like that scene from Billy and Mandy with the eye doctor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and so he says, Okay. Come back after lunch? I, uh... I was gonna ask, did you want to knock or do you want to just wait? <laughs> I think I think I should take a look at your eye first. He moves There's a his face paw. looking in from the window on the door. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck. Bondle just looks over and just gives a, you know, that awkward moment wave that you give when you realize you've been found out. <laughs> the like <laughs> short hand wave. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, that. That's what yeah. Bundle gives he's, <laughs> as he's holding his eye. Felt just like, hi. <laughs> the the window opens like it folds out like a like a fold out desk. And it's like that looks infected. It might be. <laughs> I think it definitely is. It also no, looks swollen. It also might be. <laughs> Come here, my child. Was that a big beefy arm? Wait. That's... Now, when you say beefy, I... do you mean fat or fucking ripped? We're talking about this guy's been working a forge for ninety years. My so, Jesus! God. So ripped. Um, so bundles is like mm, so okay, and steps <laughs> forward. Yes, pet the kitty. He gently caresses your cheek. And it, his oh, thumb yeah. gets closer and closer to your eye, like, hmm. But as he does, it starts to wobble like a hypnotist's watch. And he casts Cure Wounds. Uh, um, I, I, because of how what he's doing, can I roll a wisdom check for a fluff thing? Sure. Because, unfortunately, this is part of his flaw. <laughs> what okay, is your no. flaw? Okay, he doesn't do it. Okay, never mind. Wait, what's your flaw? <laughs> um, he purrs whenever he gets a pet. Aww. But. Nope. Nope. Don't purr. Not doing it. Not doing it. Not doing it. Nope. Tail waggles in a vibrating in a vibrating way. <laughs> but he says, uh, th "Thank you. Much appreciated." That yeah, the, was... the the thing just like pop plops out and like. There we go. We should get that thing soldered and uh, shellacked. I'm it's, sorry. It's this. It's all right. It's not not really your fault. I should have knocked before looking in. That too. Are you here about <laughs> about about an order? Um, um. No, actually. Are you here about orders? We're actually here on business, uh, aside from f of the 
culinary variety. Are Zalus and Cynthia here? Present. How do you do? I do. Uh, I do well. We are actually here on orders from the Feywild. Blank stares blankly. Um, you see, we... I want to believe you. Then Bondo shows just symbol. Bondo shows his symbol as well. <laughs> stares blankly, closes the window, unlocks the door. I... All right. Um, can I offer you a seat? Points to a little like Panera Bread style dining table just outside the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, huh, how quaint. <laughs> we also make sandwiches, so... Some of the men like to like to eat around here for lunch. Not too many today, they have a... They have a pork roast special in the... In the dining hall today. I see how it is. This is... This is late Dash's arm wrestling senses are tingling. <laughs> no. No. Bad. Bad. But no, we're we're not there to stop him. So if he does it, he does it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't even know where this guy is or that he exists. Yeah, so. no one does except for Felon Bundle. <laughs> well, uh, Bundles just takes a seat and says, uh, "We we we promise that there's nothing necessarily wrong. We're actually here on uh, good tidings, actually." All right. We're gonna cut ahead, and he'll be. And by this, by the time you finish up your story, uh, Zalus will also have come back from lunch with a little haversack over his shoulder. Hey, Cynthia, I got us some exquisite peach out. Who are these people? <laughs> Cynthia, we must talk. We've been summoned. You mean we've been released? You According to these people, we've been released for a while, but apparently those orders really backfired on us. We are actually meant to go back, like, 120 years ago. But I think the, C the CO at the time forgot about us. Makes sense. They did, not ac they did actually leave us in that cell for a good 20 years without actually giving us any updates on the war. Hmm. Yeah, this, this just sounds like bad bookkeeping. It does. Hmm. We must talk about this with I with Lady Isley. How is she these days? She's actually very, very well. We uh, had the pleasure of speaking with her directly. Hmm. Yes. And you weren't transmogrified. Progress. Oh, great. That's because okay. some of us know how to behave. <laughs> he says with a chuckle. <laughs> some of one other of us, on the other hand. Not me this time. That's why no, he said. You, that's why you he said. You were the so. one who got transmogrified. Yeah. <laughs> well, not, well, not because of the phase, or rather, not because of those phase. Apparently. You were yeah. transmogrified because of the Isley. I don't know what you did, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you were a target. So, according so, to uh, according to like, the, the, the half three half moon. Lady, uh, it wasn't the court Anywho. Get it. So, uh, Cynthia and Zalus are confused and struggling with their new station. Like, that means we can finally get our pension. Like, Yay, pension! <laughs> <laughs> free sandwiches for life! We already got free sandwiches for life, but we don't eat that crap. What's true with this so tempting? With that lean gristle. No! No! No, Cynthia, bad! No! <laughs> um, if, you, if you don't want a sandwich, I'll take one. Says Bundle with a smile. <laughs> they look to you. They look at each other. Well, the way we see it, you've earned a month of free sandwiches. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, what'll you have? Uh, oh, wait. Um... Before before that, um, we actually have a few friends of ours who actually helped with uh, getting this situation set up. Would it be all right if we got them to come and meet you guys? How many? 
Let's see. You have to take into account this is still a business. Uh, there's three more of us, so if need be, we'll um, we'll be yeah. we'll be glad to pay. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, of course. Give you all a week's worth of sandwiches, but we can't give you all a month's worth of free sandwiches. That is quite all right. Okay. That is perfectly. Um, um, perfectly we'll fine we'll be here. The the lunch rush is over. Uh, we did sell a single damn sandwich today. Stupid pork roast. Actually, tell you what. How much is a sandwich normally? They look at you like, no, no, we're not, we're not going to ask you to pay this. Your, our freedom is more than worth it. Well, all right. Whatever Cam uh, says. Uh, whatever Cam says. What? And there is this. <laughs> okay, so these elves are about six, six and a half feet tall. There's tall a, elves. Yeah. yeah. There's, then there's the the butcher who is a good two and a half feet shorter, and, but with a beard that extends down to his beer gut. So, <laughs> so straight up dwarf. <laughs> yeah. No, no, just really <laughs> short human. Oh, okay. Have <laughs> a trucker hat. Why? You guys leaving out on me? You don't understand. We've been liberated. What? But wait a sec. You, you guys came begging to me. Wait. Hello, sir. You guys lied to me. What does this look? You guys told me you were in my service for life, at least until the war was over. What's going on? Uh, if we may interject, sir, the war's been over for like over a hundred years. Shh! Don't tell them what? that. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> they just look like, no, you don't understand, oh, fuck sir. You can. We're leaving. Oh. I'll give you another free sandwich a week. You already get all the free sandwiches. We haven't touched a single one of them. Uh, uh, please? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he asked li nicely. I mean, I I I'm with them. Freedom's worth it. Freedom's really worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But if they were nice, they'd at least stick around long enough to train in the higher up. Anyway, go go get your go get your compatriots. We'll give them a week's worth of free sandwiches. What? <laughs> a week's worth yeah. of What are you on? Freedom. Well, sir, if you don't mind me uh, mind me saying, Fel turns to to the to the very short human. They haven't. Uh, uh, we have recently just uh, just told them that they. Uh, that the war has ended 120 years ago, and they decided, to, uh, and they decided against our uh, against our our sayings to get uh, to give us one week of uh, worth of free sandwiches as for, uh, retribution for this information. Stares at you, stares at it. You traitors! After I <laughs> took you Mother in. <laughs> if Dash was here, he might punch this guy. Phil, uh, Phil yeah. then uh, looks, uh, takes a deep breath. I guess Sir, point of view, but. Sir, if I may, if I may be so, uh, uh, if I may be so kind to say this, you, uh, do not guilt them, because they are doing using and uh, doing their own, uh, their own goddamn choice in life. Being it that you, uh, that you influenced them, that, that something uh, else was happening. During this entire time, so if you would kindly shut the fuck up, I'm gonna roll intimidation. Yeah, oh yeah, you can roll intimidation or persuasion with advantage. We'll do. That's a sixteen. Uh, Not my best. He, he takes it and he's like, "Hey, it's not fair. Get out okay. of my shop. I'm gonna have a." Harsh word with these two. Uh, no, you won't. They are not under your employ. 
I Not know anymore. that, but I'm going to be lonely. You have a whole entire fort worth of guards to talk to. They don't like my sandwiches. Well, whose fault is that? <laughs> they really like their <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> Well, it looks like you need to, I don't know, work on your recipe or something. Either way, that's not our problem. Practice makes perfect, Phil says at the scene. You guys are being mean to that poor dwarf. I would be too! Not a dwarf. Same here! Yeah, dwarf. Because he's not a dwarf. <laughs> this guy's being a dick! Dude was basically keeping slaves. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah, how well do you think that'll boil over with the person who used to be a slave for a while? How how well do you think that'll boil over with the person who was literally kept captive and uh, captive and, uh, and beaten uh, and beaten inside her own household? And okay, you, that far I did not know. Or or for the one who has only known freedom and sees slavery as <laughs> innately the most evil thing imaginable. Ronnie was an unpaid intern for a while. Does that count? No. Beating this no. guy up would be the nicest thing Dashigan could do. Okay, 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 forget I said anything. Damn, see one little thing that's considered to be nice and also I get my ears chewed off. Whatever. So... <laughs> so you guys go collect your friends? Yeah. Yeah, we go collect our friends. Wait, right, wait, but it's time to get Talic back. Cam's fuming silently in the corner. It's like, my sandwich shall be ruined. And they they make they offer you come. What would you like? It's basically they they form it out. It's kind of like a subway. They like. Yeah. Would you like flatbread, non bread, or whole bread? Hmm. I'll take flatbread. If it's like a subway, do you have garlic, herb, and cheese? Wait, Dad, did you guys collect us or not? Yeah. Sim Simthir, the okay. orange the orange elf casts Prestidigitation and he just holds up a little scone and it reeks of garlic and herbs. Yes. Thumbs up from Dashigan. And I assume we're all hey. here now, right? Yeah. Runner just has a pack of a uh, bunch of berries. He's got a pack of like I'm I'm not even told what to do with these anymore. I, the, the, the bag has like light emanating from it through the bag. Bundle just looks at this. Yeah, do, like, do we do we see that light? Oh, it's impossible not to. Like the the bag like shimmers every once in a while. Like like imagine putting a sparkler inside of like a burlap sack. Rania? What do you, what'd you yeah. make this time? Rania, uh, what did you do? <laughs> Some fellas just have a smile on her face. I feel like we shouldn't be surprised at this point yet. Yeah, every time we still are. No, I mean, I'm just kind of worried, because we're on a diplomatic mission now, and if anything happens to screw this up, I will possibly stab a bitch. She turns her head to the, uh, to the elves, like, you guys have a meatball sub? We have balls that usually contain meat. That'll do. Yeah. Okay. At this point, Bundle just kind of scoots over to Rania, taps her on the shoulder. Yeah. You have one here. I know what you did. You do it all the frickin' time. <laughs> what did I? I'm not eating it this time. The last time I did, I caught on fire. I know. <laughs> Zay, this is like, I'm you too? <laughs> <laughs> Zaylus has 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 like a mohawk and like green and copper skin. Meanwhile, Cynthia has like orange with like gray like stripes down his chest. Huh. Huh. But, of uh, the two, Cynthia is the most built. Oh, uh, Lanya reaches behind her and um, opens up her one second, uh, guys. Uh, the, the sack of uh, what for now what she's going to call lightning berries. An apt name. Like, I'm not exactly sure what these things do yet, but when I touch one of the sparks, it's at me. Um, we may want to do a few tests. Well, that's what I'm here for, he says as he grabs one. <laughs> Alright. 
Dex save. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, you you man it. You know that you should grab it from the bottom of the barrier rather than from the sparkling top. Like, yep, there we go. All right, look, look looking at, um, looking at it. Uh, I know I'm not gonna go for that top first. It, it feels like uh, an overripe peach. An um, overripe peach. Does the, the skin really thick? Uh, actually, feels thinner than usual. Hmm. All right. Um, seeing as how it's kind of thin, I'm gonna use my claws and kind of poke in, and see if it, what kind of juice comes out. Rania just has like uh, lesser restoration and wounds, um, and cure wounds, and uh, both hands just ready. You, you you poke your claw and you pull it out, and it looks like your claw is sparkling, is like sparking a little bit. Does it feel painful? No, it's just. V v v v Okay. Um, seeing this, is in, is there any juice kind of dribbling out of the hole I made? No. Just little there sparks isn't... occasionally. Okay. Uh, seeing this, I'm just going to be like, hmm, it's probably going to be a bad idea to just bite into this. Probably. So, uh... Hmm. Do you think I should probably cast the tech poison on it first? I don't think it's the poison I need to worry about. He says, noting the sparks. Yes. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it really doesn't look like it's poisonous per se. Um, yeah, you will look at the thing. Just gonna turn that down a little bit. Okay. Um, seeing as you have, uh, you have lesser restoration ready, right? I look to you and say, I'm going to test this out. If this really freaking hurts, better yet, I walk outside. Because <laughs> I know <laughs> if, if something bad is going to happen, this is going to go bad. <laughs> so I'll walk outside and tell Ronya to come with me. <laughs> and Fel's just, and Fel's just like uh, saying under her breath. What is Fel ordering like, from, the, from the sandwich shop? Uh, shit, I've never, um, yeah. no, shit, I've actually never been to Subway. It's basically like, is getting... like they have like loaves of bread and like filling. You can choose your meat, choose your vegetables. Yeah. Mm, okay. It's like a salad bar, but for sandwiches. Oh, nice. Dashian is basically getting the equivalent of an oven roasted chicken. Uh, the oh. henpecker, we call it. <laughs> the henpecker. <laughs> Goodness. Would you like the spicy henpeck sauce? <laughs> uh, sure. All right, they just glaze like a little bit of yellow, like lemony-looking sauce on it. All right, there we go. Just hands you like wraps it up in like butcher paper and hands it over. I dig it and go out to the side to watch what's about to happen while eating it. <laughs> oh, what do you order? Oh, a uh, simple sandwich. Like what's so? Is that like symbols <laughs> on a sandwich or no? No. No, Talik is looking out the window, freaking out, like, God, she's probably up there watching me. <laughs> I'm, wait, does he say, like, dealer's choice to, to the sandwich makers? Yeah, <laughs> oh, my God. It. Do it. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. <laughs> uh, really, he just said a sandwich. Let's make him a sandwich, then. And they <laughs> giggle giddily and then turn around and, like, you, you hear, like, the sparking and slashing of knives on, like, the 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 hero like meat machine that like spin like it's like rotisserie but it spins like the the pork beef around they've been doing this for a hundred years and they turn around and it's like a dagwood style sandwich so oh wow <laughs> Whoa. with like and it's got a face so it's got like two cherry tomatoes at the top of it for eyes and like some lettuce for a mouth in the middle <laughs> I oh, love God, it this thing is this thing is gonna start speaking. <laughs> oh, Alex. so that's what a Dagwood is. What did I walk yeah. into? I walked away and got that halfling female stalking me, and now I'm going to have an unknown sandwich. Oh, yeah. Is... It's layered with good. turkey, slices of tomato, some peppers, and. And, weirdly enough, a carrot as the eyebrows. <laughs> oh it has a unibrow. 
<laughs> oh. If it weren't for the fact that I'm going to test this out, that does look delectable, but a little bit much. <laughs> Oh, was gonna order the uh, was gonna order the, um, the equivalent of a chicken sandwich uh, of a chicken sandwich. Another hen pecker or rotisserie style. Uh, rotisserie style, please. They they go to some chicken, shave it off, and uh, dabble some pepper and some lettuce and cheese on it. Like there you go. Do you Thank guys you. Hey, bundles just calls out from outside. Do you guys do fish? Do we? We got some fresh <laughs> perch just last week. It's about to go bad too, but we can save it right for you. That sounds awesome. <laughs> um, are you gonna eat the bear or what? Um, no. Yes. D Dad's just sitting yes. there like, oh, do it. <laughs> uh, 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 Phil goes outside with her sandwich. She's just like, if this, ha uh, if this, uh, uh, this uh, handicaps bundle in any way or form, Rania, I will cut your hair while you're sleeping. <laughs> oh, leave him alone. I'm doing it. Uh, uh, yeah, I was going to say what she, what she is saying now. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to eat the berry? I'm going to take one bite. Not eat the whole thing, one bite. How big are these berries, by the way? It's right. about the size of a peach. Okay, good. Yeah, My god, good. man. Alright, so, okay. Con save. This would be fun. Don't you have a minus one to- why didn't Dash eat this berry? Because <laughs> the last <laughs> time he did, he caught on fire. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't <laughs> know he has a, a plus berry. six to con. Oh! Hmm. 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 Oh. Hmm. 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 That's very. That's a very curious number. Yes, it is. Uh, would well, you think that at some point? Given it's also the DC, so I got to flip a coin. Oh. <laughs> that was the DC. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. You. You take four. You take four electricity damage. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. That looks about right. His goatee and his head is completely poofed out, but the rest of his body is fine. Um, are hmm. you right, Bundle? He looks at you, there are like electricity fanning between his whiskers. <laughs> I get a. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I get a dark idea. Yeah. Oh. I'll just laugh. You want to know how I'm feeling, Rania? He pokes him. <laughs> Yes. Uh, Ryan, you make a dex check. Can I do I sleight of hand? Check or sure. save. Check or save. Oh! <laughs> you know what? Never mind. You attempt to poke him, Rania, on instinct from Owl's teachings, like whips around his hands and like twists your hand around so you touch yourself. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how I did that. that? Phil just snickers and uh, a pin. Uh, <laughs> after getting shocked twice. <laughs> so, uh, how much damage did I take this time? No, you didn't. Okay. Well, uh, after getting shocked twice, he's like, okay, how many of these fuckers did you make? <laughs> uh, enough. Rania? We need a number, Rania. No, no, no. Yes, Rania, um, we really need to. Uh, we really need to. Nom, 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 nom. We need to keep inventory of this shit. Well. Considering um, the last time you set Dashigan on fire. Well, I had 56 berries. Uh, 56 better berries. Mm -hmm. And now I have 6. That's a lot of better berries. That's yeah. a lot of better berries. And now I have. Character, that's a lot of healing. So, yeah. uh, and I can make these uh, uh, for my spells. Falcon, Falcon, go back to, uh, to neutral good. Bundle gets an idea. <laughs> he smooths down his fur now. He's like, "All right, this isn't. This is interesting, but I get an idea of how we can use these." Okay. Um... We are all. We are already in the midst of trying to make trade with the people here. We can probably use these as a bonus. You you really want to trade them some things that electrocute? 
I mean, it could be used as a some type of ammunition. I'm sure they have someone to research that kind of thing. I mean, yeah, as far as I'm aware, if you just have a simple sling, then bam. There you go. I think we may need to have someone ingest these in order for them to take effect, but just in case, Anya, uh, uh, like, uh, lift her hand up to take uh, the other half of uh, that berry. I hand, it, I hand it to you. Okay. Uh, he uh, walks into the tavern, looks around for a target. He's a talent's not doing anything in, uh, interesting. Talek is sitting at the window eating his sandwich, keeping an eye out for that halfling. It's as big as his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Talek! Talek, that is... Can you eat all of that? It's called stress eating, okay? You're the only in, in the distance, <laughs> In the distance, if he does it, I will. It is, it is a impressive specimen. Dash, can't save! Oh, he destroys the butcher shop! <laughs> uh, uh, Runya uh, comes over under uh, comes over to house, under preach uh, tent of ex examining the sandwich, but he touches the fleshy inside of the zapberry to Alex's skin as he walks close to him. You guys think I'm happen? evil? <laughs> Okay. All right. What do uh, I have to roll? Uh, oh, I'm going to beat Rania. Talek, con save. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Talek, are you wearing your armor? Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Con save, straight. Aw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bundle. <laughs> oh, that's a good con save. Okay, there's, good. Uh, there's tickling on your fur. Like, what the? And <laughs> yeah, the sandwich oh, make me feel she's funny. She's here. She's here. <laughs> Hides underneath the table. <laughs> like well, a bit of the spark, good. like spews out, like like some juice, like some very sticky syrup from, and like attaches to him. It keeps stretching with him, like a piece of gum stuck on your shoe. Mm. <laughs> oh god, that ha that female half leaks here. She's here. Oh god. Uh, he, uh, he, he, uh, like, puts the digitations and he's, uh, that's on, uh, on the berry, and he, he offers the berry to Talek. Like, would you like some dessert? There's this uh. glowing blue and white berry. Doggo. Doggo. Oh, sorry. Hang on, let me go. The, ter the terriers, uh, the terriers barking, because, because of what the heck is, the heck is gonna happen. Uh, actually, that's a toy poodle. Uh, Talon takes a look at it. Wait a second. You created this, didn't you? With all of my love. No, thanks. Uh, and what will happen to Dash again? Yeah, but that, the, that was that was a one-time thing. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, I, when it ends up being a one-time thing, it's going to be happening again and again and again. That's uh, fine. No, thanks. I already have enough stress on me. I don't need that stressing me out even more. Yeah, well, I have a plus two to my constitution, so hopefully I'll do all right. Um, Rania shrugs, take the bite of the uh, the berry. Roll me that save. Hell yeah, that's a sixteen. All right, you gain five HP. Ooh. It tickles. Oh, dang! <laughs> Wait, this, is, is, uh, this healed me for five. Yeah. So Rania looks at herself. Uh, uh, herself. Does uh, uh, are my hands sparking at all? No, but your veins do look a little bluer. Hmm. My god. Run your pokes, Talek. No, nothing. Talek pokes back. <laughs> hey, watch where you're poking. Uh, well, watch the ears. And in the distance, you hear a... What the hell? What the what hell the... was that? Run your bubble, walk... Uh, towards the door and exit the building to look around. Yeah, should, yeah, you yeah, should. Yeah, the, it came from the direction of the gate. Uh, Did it sound good or bad? It sounded like an explosion. Oh, Dash okay. again is running. Grabs a chunk of the salmon, starts running with him while but taking bites out of that one piece. Uh, uh, Tell starts running 
Over oh, there no. too. Uh, uh, too. As fast as her little legs can carry her. No, my knee full of sub. Ah, Just get it wrapped up. Yeah, Dashigan is still eating, by the way. That's <laughs> just running. <laughs> Unless <laughs> he's gone through the whole sub already. Oh, gee, this is deja vu. This is what happened in the first freaking episode. Wait, really? I couldn't, I couldn't see that either. We all were eating, and then, like, freaking something happened. And I didn't get to eat my food. <laughs> Wasn't that when the uh, whole place disappeared? Yeah. No. No. I can't it, anywho, uh, I tell them to wrap my food, and I run after the guys. All right. Uh, you guys get to the gate, and they open up one of the side They're doors a little bit. Where it's like, what the hell was that? Bag. Black. Shit. Oh no, you get better now. Yo. So. Is that a map change I sense? <gasps> I feel like we wouldn't have an encounter. So yeah, you gotta make it to the gate where it has two little porthole exits on the side. Like, there's the wall, there's an upper level where the guards are holding out, and there's, like, two little side entrances that open up under, like, a, like a castle archway. And you hear from outside just this commotion of, Oh, God! I go outside. What do my what do my dragonborn eyes see? Uh, you see some commoners running towards the castle gates, like just a, a few women, some children, uh, a couple of young teenage boys, just scurrying towards the castle gates, while a giant black scorpion just oh. maneuvers toward them. <laughs> Great oh, sword's already yes. out. I'm running straight for that scorpion. Yeah, uh, yeah, Fel's, uh, Fel's already good. Getting... What's going on? Uh... Yeah, they haven't they haven't opened the gate yet, so it's like they've opened oh. like little porthole doors. Like, come on, come on, you guys can make it. Where it's like, uh, yeah. like about they're only yeah. about four foot wide. Oh, can Dash make it through one of those portholes to try and intercept this scorpion? I mean, you'd block the egg entrance for the people trying to get in. Oh, Dash, and he will try to let them in first. Then. <laughs> I. I is there any way that I can get to an upper level above the actual portal gate, like a second st second story to the actual keep, to shoot down at this yeah, scorpion? Yeah, thing? there are little nimble ladders that lead upwards. One of which is being guarded by a young teenage guard. Like, oh, oh man, that thing looks scary. No way, these um, doors will hold down. Uh, seeing that ladder, I'm going to go for that ladder and start climbing up to see if I can Acrobatic get a better vantage check. point. That'll be fun. Really? Is that a... Oh. <laughs> That's a seven. Okay. Uh, you get your foot caught. Like, you're in such excitement. You get your foot caught in the bottom. Like, ah, kick! And so it slows you down. Like, you get about halfway up the ladder. All right. Uh, that's my movement before anything. <laughs> F uh, Fel, um, she, uh, she's also looking around like, oh god, oh god, I need, I need some place, uh, I need some some place high so I can, uh, so I can help. What if I roll to like, you know, try to find some place like that? How far is this thing away from us? The um from the gates or from you guys? From us. From you guys? It's about thirty yards away. From and the gate? The, and the last of the people are about thirty, about about ten yards away. Like, oh god, let us in, let us in. So about ninety feet away from us. Oh, whoa. Ninety feet? That scorpion is. So we need to do something. I could probably 
I Dash was trying to go outside to try and to try and intercept it. Um, Dick, please wait. maneuver away from the we, we need to get the civilians inside. Um, okay. How, how, how tall? Hold on. How tall is this fort wall? Uh, it's about 40, 40, 50 feet high. Okay, never mind. I mean, just wait um, for the door to open. <laughs> I guess I'm just holding position until I can get out. Do I, I find like, anything right? Obviously not blocking the door, but... Uh, question. I can see this thing, right? Uh, you can see some of it, yes. Do, do I see more than one? Nope, you just see a giant scorpion barreling toward the fort walls. Just a giant. It's about nine foot length. Nine foot length is there. And about three foot high. Like it, but its stinger extends about six foot high in the air. Yeah, I get that. Um, are any of the civilians who might be at risk of getting hit within thirty feet of me? Uh, not yet, but it's gaining. Do, do right. I like they're trying to, to they, there's still about five people in line, and the scorpion is advancing towards the. Well, if the scorpion makes an attack against a civilian, if that civilian is within thirty feet of me, I'm going to use my reaction to shield that civilian. Do I am? Um... Uh, fuck. Hey, go ahead. Uh, do uh, do I see any uh, is, uh, any place where I can uh, where I can head up to find uh, to find a better position uh, uh, position upwards? Uh, upwards? Yeah, no, like uh, like what Bundle did. Yeah, there's a second ladder to the left. She rushes over there and tries to uh, and uh, and starts uh, tries to start climbing as fast as she can. Dex check. Oh. Oh, I can Dex see the I can see the map now. Alright, come on. Dex check or acrobatics? Dex check. Alright. Fuck, okay. <laughs> I'm glad this isn't a spider or else I'd be tricky. Yeah, you just make it immediately to the top center and you can see that there is a scorpion barreling towards the fort wall. Like you oh. see to the straight ahead. To the east, there is a hill of ash, and then just to the southeast, there is a scorpion, and there's a couple uh, little little boys and girls trying to scramble their way into the to the keeper. Uh, what is this over here? Uh, that is a uh, like uh, a fort tower, like a like a ranger tower. Are there any rangers in the ranger tower? There is one ranger in there, and he's currently got a torch. Like, should I signal? Shoot at it! Alright, uh, bear back. I okay. Um, I can see it. Uh, I only see one. Should I use this thing? Oh, ah, God. Jeebus. Get oh, smaller, God. dang it. It's huge. There it is. Yeah, uh, start putting down where all the NPCs <laughs> I forgot the, uh, the NPC pictures are like that. Yeah, I need a general idea of where these suckers are so I end up shooting. Because a lot of my stuff is AoE. That said, I could use Call Lightning and just start zapping the sucker. I can choose where it goes. It's up to you. And you hear from the from the top section. There's a half elf woman. That, you've almost opened the you've almost opened the northern door, sir. Good, oh, good. Uh, get it open. Uh, like uh, get it open in case we need it. But do not open it violently, so the scorpion knows where to enter. Fel prepares a guiding bolt once uh, once that scorpion gets near. Yeah, one little boy cr clambers in. It's all right, dearie. It's all right. Mommy's coming. How fast is this thing coming at us right now? 
Oh, it's still making good headway. It's now about... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, it's just still over one round away from the uh, from the fort wall. Screw it. I'm going to pop slow on this bitch. I'm, fi I'm firing and guiding bolt. I'm going to get to the top of the... All right, air. roll initiative. Okay. Woo! Good we're, job. Rolling, we're rolling initiative. Uh-huh. Uh, does my slow effect before or after initiative? My god. Well, bundle's going before... Uh, well, bundle's going um, uh, bef okay. uh, before me. Yeah, bundle's going before you, and then yeah. I'm going after you. Alright, so these are all the civilians trying to make it in? Yep. Fellow DC is 14. Right, let me change up the music here. Yeah, but that's a bit too chill. <laughs> okay. Fight, fight, uh, yeah. fight, fight. Kiss, kiss, fight, kiss. Fight. What? <laughs> Good 53 feet away. All right, so... I'm sorry, there's like one bit of information I didn't write down, so I gotta quick look this up. It's okay. Okay, get down. Like, I don't feel like peeling through my spaghetti barrels to get to the book. Spaghetti barrels. There's an illusionist monster? Oh, okay. Ah. Okay, so it's straight. Okay, let's see. What does this boy get? Ah, well then. Uh, does that mean it can't make, like, attacks of opportunity? No, it just means that it's straight. It is. It has no dex modifier. No, no, I mean, uh, if, um, uh, if, um, uh, if it can't take reactions. An attack of opportunity is a reaction, right? Are you talking about slow? Uh-huh. Yeah, slow makes it to where they can't take reactions, so no attack of opportunity for them oh. if they're affected by it. So dexterity saving Damn, slow is really good. It really is. Holy crap. That's a penguin. <laughs> ah, penguin! We club penguin in this. <laughs> I get the feeling that's Faye yet. Sounds about right. I'm sorry, I haven't afford. I can't afford to get her art yet. It's okay. I mean, I mean, I mean it's adorable. Uh, I mean, she. Uh... Damn right, she's adorable. She only gets she's also old as shit. Yeah. <laughs> I can break out her character sheet. Hooray! Oh yeah, she has an impressive modifier, and she's the one with the amazing passive perception. Don't forget to take the tone order, Brett. Yeah. Wow. Okay, what? then. Damn. She's going first. <laughs> uh, she will be going okay. next turn. She has not appeared on the board yet. Okay. So you hear a rust, a, a Jimmy's a rustling from the direction of the posting, but she's going to take a bit to get there. So that makes it Bumble's turn, and you're about halfway up the ladder. I'm gonna finish my climb up the ladder as my movement. Okay. 
And once I get to the top, I'm going to use my bonus action to do Hunter's Mark. Alright. And then I'm going to hold my action until someone gets within melee range. That is my own... Uh, once anyone is in, in melee range of this thing, I will fire at it. My god, it's I'm so happy I saved this spell. <laughs> Ah, yes, that still worked. Alright, so... So as of right now, just holding action, I guess. It should slow already. Right. get to, like, right there. Alright. Uh, Path Perception is 15. Okay, yeah, there, there is a, a shape on the ash heap across the way. God damn it. There's what? I didn't. I didn't hear you. There's shape over on the ash heap. Damn it! <laughs> well, I'm. I said all I can do, so I can't do any more. Bundle, is your little icon thing bigger than ours? Maybe. Uh, is it? You are the only one that doesn't have a neat look. So uh, I, I like being the king of Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The, we, we're all using our fancy tokens now. Yeah, and well, I can't okay. argue with Bundle. I mean, uh, I mean, I would choose to say the king of Wakanda. If so you're holding on to your action until it gets close. Until anyone gets within melee range. Okay. Of so. the big monster. So, fell. Alright, time to guiding bolt this bitch. Alright. Because I was I was gonna use hypnotic pattern until I, uh, until I noticed what uh, what Rania did, so I'm just gonna save that for later. <laughs> but for now, let's guiding bolt the son of a bitch. Fuck. It's <laughs> not bad. 15. It's not bad. Uh, it's not bad, but I don't know giant scorpions. <laughs> Okay, uh, you aim your attack true, and you fire, and it just ricochets off its chitinous armor. Wait, doesn't it have, like, an armor, uh... It has a minus two penalty to AC. What? Sorry. Go ahead. Minus two to its AC. Because it's slow. Oh, okay, yeah, that hits. Yay! Thank you, Randy. I'll try the minus two to any deck saves. Nice. And I'm gonna cast it at because kill this thing before it gets close. Oh, Fuck! Okay, shit. Still, that's 15 damage. I know, but not one. Yes, <laughs> damage. Now that's a lot of damage! And I don't think it says. Blah, 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 blah. The next attack roll made against this target before the uh, end of my turn has advantage. Right. Give me one second, I need a quick grab a drink. So if anyone attacks it until the end of my next turn, we get advantage. <laughs> Alright. I also had that minus two to Jack's and the AP, so you guys can go at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find. I should really take care of it. I haven't taken it. I, I, I think one of these. Did, I think uh, at some point I'm going to go just go ahead and get Roll Twenty their, their subscription version so I can get it on my phone because uh, if I'm going to have to leave the library in like 30 minutes. Oh my god. They're in there. Wait. What? Like, you're good for right now, but I will let you know when, when something happens. So wait, whose turn is it next? Rania's? Mm hmm And with her free action, she's just gonna look over the thing and she's gonna... I don't gonna... think here right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forget about that. Oh, this map is in the bridge base. It is. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of difficult to work with, but... It'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
But that also means that if something is in uh, is out of 60 feet range, 59.9. I I'm wondering if I should go for a spellcaster this uh, time around or uh, and support the front line or if, if I should try to get in there. I should probably stay in back. I think Talek and Dash probably had. <sighs> But I need to maintain any sorts of slows, but I can probably throw out a couple of, uh, a couple of great balls. Okay, so, uh, you hit it with a guiding ball. Is there anything else to do with the turn as it smacks in and it shudders for a second and it shakes, shakes the effect off and continues forward? And Fel uh, just, uh, Fel just looks down at the, uh, looks down at the pe people and like making, making a motion to come inside. Go, go, go! That's it. Roll persuasion to make sure they go. <laughs> Bitch, I will. With advantage because there's a giant ass corpse. You're, body. you're not the DM. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, that makes it Cody's turn. Mm, Cody. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I'm not going to, like, um, get in the way of the exit, but, uh, he is going to, uh, lob a gray ball right about here. It's a, it, oh, wait, I was gonna say, you toss a berry out there? God damn it. No, not a berry. <laughs> like, like, that thing's gonna eat it. <laughs> no. Although it's and big. it gains 10 <laughs> HP. Nah. Fuck <laughs> Although, now that you think about it, what kind of berries can I throw out to him? The, the risk of it making the save might be too great. Yeah, I think so. Uh, right now, these things are uh, real iffy. Except the green tooth berry. I'm not sure what would the green tooth, or rather the rotting teeth berry. I'm not sure what that would do to it. Questions for later. Yeah, for later. Right now, I'm throwing a uh, gray ball, and I'm rolling a d8. To figure right. out what that gray ball, gray ball contains. That is a three, so it is a regular badger. <gasps> a regular badger! Yep, a so, regular badger. So, so Albert comes out. So just a regular honey badger? We're talking, we're talking honey badger. <laughs> One of those are, is terrifying, is more terrifying than the other. All it says is badger, so I have no idea what that could be. Honey badger. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a honey patch take on a bee. I think I threw it like right here. <sighs> I don't have a badger. So. Let's get a dog, it'll be about the same size. <laughs> Doesn't have well, that's terrifying. Much. Let's use it. What? <laughs> just, just make it smaller. I love him. Much smaller. That uh, 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 uh eat badger. Mm, closer. That'll work. I yeah. love him. <laughs> Can we okay. him? Uh, well, yeah, technically yes. Uh, but yeah, uh, that little badger. I'm going to command it to uh, uh. Stand its ground and protect uh, protect the children from the giant scorpion. Ah. Think of the children. It nods and yeah, it, it maneuvers itself between the scorpion and the, and the the couple teenagers and the mother figure still trying to get in. Yeah, good good boy, uh, Albert. I like my terrifying creature tokens. Your terrifying <laughs> creature tokens are amazing. Boy, Albert, Baggy would be proud of you. I don't think there's a yeah. Uh, the limit uh, to how many th these things I can throw to three. I can just keep on throwing them out. Sure. I'm not gonna do it, but. Ah. Uh... No, no. I have other things at my disposal. If this thing gets too close, I have a plan. Is that your turn? Uh-huh. Alright, that brings it to the archers on top, and they're just gonna leap forth like, no. Uh, let me 
see. So oh shit, roll. is this another entrance? Yeah, they're about to get that one up. Okay, so one misses, one hits. Oh, I just noticed the goblin boy. You don't notice him, you didn't look. You, you can't see him because you're at the bottom. Oh, okay. I, I, said, think I said Bundle sees a shape. I see a shape. I don't know what it is, though. Okay. Right now I'm concentrating on the front line. It's raining. And I'm, and I'm aiming, so I can't really look at that thing right now. Yep, so that brings us to the archers. So one, two, three. Three attacks actually, so one hits, one misses, oh, and that also hits. They're so... aiming at the scorpion, remember the minus two. Yeah. Well, I doubt a nat two is gonna hit the thing. Yeah, that matches. Can't use two concentration spells at once. Okay, yeah, almost like that would be broken. So a couple of them yeah. launch arrows. Okay. One of them misses slightly. One of them misses and holy, but two of them strike true and in, into the rear carapace, connecting the tail to the to the hind quarters, and it just rears but keeps coming. That brings us to Dashkin's turn. All right, so there's no possible way I can make it past these people, right? Yeah, yeah. not unless Ooh, you yeah. take your action to make an athletics check to 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 push them out of the way, pull yourself through, and then you wouldn't have any more movement. Alright, so if that's the case, there doesn't appear to be anyone coming through, through coming through that one, right? No, but they are still attempting to open it. Oh, it's not open? They are almost opening it. You can go over in the system if you want. Fuck, that means I would have to use my action regardless, because my plan was to dash around. <laughs> I'm gonna make a joke. <laughs> so, can I see from where I am how how open it is? Like, is it partially open at least? It's about a quarter of the way open. Like, you're, you could almost fit through it, but they need to pull... But they need to actually force it just a wee bit more. So is it like, is it like a portcullis lifting upward? Yeah, it's more like a reverse drawbridge. Like the door in Princess Mononoke. Oh, that's one. I don't, I even don't know what that looks like, because uh, is it is there a space underneath where like, it's opening from? Or? Um, like, a, like a flat garage door that heads down. Like, it doesn't fold, but it just straight up comes down. Hmm. Hmm. Like, it's basically just a, a big piece of wood that comes down, but they lift it up, like, diagonally. Like, doesn't just lift up like a, like a portcullis. It lifts up, like, being lifted by a chain from the rear. And I couldn't say make an athletics check to jump over it while it's still being going. Well, it's, it's, you have to leap under it. Yeah, that's why I'm asking, like... Is there like space underneath it that I could like yeah, you roll could, under or something? Yeah, you could try. I need to see a, a certain check for that. Uh, would imagine. it take Would it take an action to do that? Uh, depends. Depends what you're doing. We need to roll under the gate and bowl over the children. All right. So knowing that this over here is probably going to take too goddamn long, Dashkin is going to move to the gate up here and he will attempt to either dive or roll under it. Alright, that'll be but, an acrobatic check. Right, okay. And hopefully he'll land on his feet and be able to keep moving. Oh, 16. Alright. You get mostly under it. But your snout gets caught as you're, oh. and like, you're like, Punk, so am I just stuck there? 
No, you just stop, but you're still mostly out. You just gotta... You can use the rest of your action to get out, and that would be the end of your turn. Ah, uh, so I can't move, can't use my action to dash? Uh, you didn't say that, but... That's, that's why I was trying to get up, get through without using an action. I wanted to dash my way over here, or as close as I could. Uh, okay, you did say that. Um, uh, roll a d2. Two. Alright, yeah, you can dash. You're still 30 feet of movement. Alright, so take basically eats 10 of my dash movement to get unstuck. Ah, uh, 5. So you have 25 okay, feet of movement. With 40 movement speed? Oh, 40. Yeah, 35. Wait, you have 40 Well, you can't speed? dash while moving on your proneness. Oh, yeah, am I prone? Yeah, because you got caught. You tried to slide right. under, but you got caught by your snout. Alright, so using my dash action, I'll use, what, half movement to get up? Yes, that would be... That, that would, would be, give me... That would mean you have 20, 20, movement 20 speed. feet of movement. I will just, with that 20 feet, try to get as close as I can possible to this thing, staying closer to the civilians. Alright. The civilian side. So... That would be, what, about here? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's all in my marking that for me, because I... My memory is short enough to where I keep forgetting where that is. Uh... About there? Yep. Yeah. Alright, now I just gotta hope. Oh, just barely. Alright, so... Uh, the scorpion. It is its turn, and it... Remember it maneuvers... It has half its speed. Uh-huh. Click flow and get it if you like. Okay. Here, I'll click so so you can read it again. All right. Is that thing in melee range of the badger? Yes. I'm gonna fire at it. At the badger? No, at the scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to fire at the badger. And I'm using the first shot. Is gonna be a poisoned arrow. Uh, okay. Please don't hit my badger. Hit the badger. You hit. Alright, and since it's in melee range of an enemy, I get sneak attack as well. Alright. Are you an ally? <laughs> so that's 15 total damage on that, plus the poison damage. So that's a d4, I believe you said? Yeah. Alright. I love my bag of tricks. Yeah, that's 18 on the first shot. Okay. And then I'm going to fire again with a normal arrow. So that would be that again. I'm guessing that matches. Yeah, you actually miss. You just, you fire at it and it just catches it with its claw and snaps it in half. Oh, you fucker, you remind me of that damn Trider! <laughs> <laughs> Aww, he's getting flashbacks. So... But, but that's, that was my action that I held, so it can do its own thing now. So it's gonna make two claw attacks. Are either of the claw attacks at a civilian? Uh, one of them is. If uh -oh, that, cutting if words. That, and if that claw attack hits, I'm gonna use my spirit shield on it, assuming that civilian is this one. Uh, okay, uh, that will hit the civilian. Uh, All right, let me let me check how much I roll. All right, I roll two d six. Uh, I'll link it. There we go. All right, wh whatever damage it rolls, take five off of that. As a uh, 
dragonborn spirit pops up to block some of the attack. All right. Yeah, Fell, you're cutting words. You do, and you do <laughs> manage to. What well, do you scream at it? Um. What do I scream at it? This is good. You're using cutting words. I doubt you just <laughs> telepathically saying them. No, uh, oh no no uh, uh, no I I know I just why do I uh, why do I not, not I think of this um uh hey you fucker back off <laughs> <laughs> you what <won't>, mate <laughs> are you taking the piss your mom with a flea <laughs> <laughs> it's a big fucking flea yeah. Shut up, Francis. Go on, just the, the first thing you think of. Go. No, I. I, I, I um. Go back to the trash where you belong. All right. Uh. It ignores you, and it still punctures a civilian. But a spirit guardian does pop up to block some of the blow. Alright, so... The giant scorpion does so much damage. It, it, does, it does such damage, let me tell you. Uh, where did that die go? Son of a gun. Did I lose that die already? Jeebus. Alright, roll it again. Huh. Okay. Yeah, it... It basically just pokes the civilian, but it does no damage. The, the spirit guardian, with like a great axe, just appears and parries its claw. Yeah. Sweet. Alright, and then the second attack, it'll aim at Badger Boy. I can't defend Badger, forgive me. Sorry, I, I also can't defend Badger. Elion, do you have mending? I, uh... I believe I do, but I got rid of it and I don't... I oh, do! Right. That definitely hits- oh no. Do you have a set bad. HP for these things? Uh, it should be the standard HP of a badger. Okay. So... What happened? What happened that's what he did you. No... No... Standard HP for a badger. Uh... Oh, this thing is- Oh, <laughs> oh! It didn't it have hits. a lot. <laughs> no, it hits, no, it and that badger pops and deflates. <laughs> <laughs> it only had three health. <laughs> oh no! It's almost as sad as, as the civilians that are about to die. <laughs> well, it soaked up one of the damage, so. And I managed to block the other damage, so that buys us a turn around. All right, so Talik. Yeah. Okay. Wait. There no. So is there's no way I could slip past here? Is there? Well, you could try and take a leap over the wall. <clears throat> what is up with you and leaping See, over the wall? My idea was to jump off the wall until you said it was forty feet high. <laughs> well, they're probably portions that are smaller. Closer to the ground by like ten or so feet. That's only three d six falling damage <laughs> per ten feet. Or wait, no, that's one d six per ten. Yeah. 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 Not a lot for a paladin. You're not monks. Well, I guess I'll just take the same way, uh, go the same way Dashikin did. All right. Yeah, you can make an acrobatics check with advantage to get under that. Due to my small size. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you just. Yeah, military spin your way out. But shit. Yeah, ah. remember his movement speed ah. is 30. <laughs> ah, Phil! Ah. I'm gigantic! Yeah, so you're probably gonna have to do what I did and take your action to dash, and even then you'll probably be slightly behind me. 
Yeah, you'd have gotten there, and then actually oh, no, no, because he didn't. He yeah, didn't stop. Because I did it. Well, I lost movement speed getting up. Yeah, so you can make so, it here. Right. Yeah, like anywhere within here. Okay, and once I do that, I'm going. To, okay, since I will be having a running start as soon as I get here. Hopefully this works. Uh, since I have a running start. I'm going to do a standing leap. Okay. And I'm going to job. I'm going to uh, hold my shield. Yeah, you can go 20 feet. You land on Albert's <laughs> and, it, and it farts styrofoam pellets. Oh. <laughs> if only I was ten feet more, I could end up doing a shield bash right into the scorpion. You like ran? You no, you're like standing. Right they would take your it. action. Okay. Uh, do I have to roll anything? Nope. You, you land on the deflated part of the badger, just farts styrofoam pellets, and. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the more closer you get to the thing, wow, this thing looks intimidating. Really intimidating. Make a charisma save. Oh, shit. Wait, he's a paladin. Doesn't he get, like, I don't know, immunity to fear? Uh, rangers get that. Uh, Never mind. Yeah, it, it looks intimidating, but you can take it. Yeah. I may be a funny, but boy, I know I can kick your ass. All right. Uh, from the direction of the range station in the fort, Fayette comes barging out, clasping together some scale armor. And it's like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah, she's got some scale mail. And she's just clasping out, like, I had to deal with this today. It's like, all right, you lot, get out of my way. And like, yes, yes, come, yes, Colonel Fayette. And she just maneuvers her way up, up the plank, and just takes a look. Like, uh, I hate these damn things. Oh, you here to join the party? <laughs> Hush. Hi there. Points to you. Hush, you. Points this. Points to Scorpion, and pulls out a bow and just says, "Just get the hell off my property and cast Hail of Thorns." She's a ranger! Well, that's a negative two to its dex. Yep, so that hits. So it's gotta make a dex save. Ooh, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> it makes it. And also Aww, gets a minus two to curses. dex save. But it, but it still takes two piercing damage. That's good. So, so it takes 18 damage. And, it, and she's like happy and then it cuts to you, bundle. Uh, I would be if he shot a, little, a bit more than one, he says as he sh shoots twice. Actually, let me see if I can get do anything else. Bundle, ruining negotiations with his witty comments. Mm. <laughs> it's just like... At least he's not <laughs> running. Damn, I can't do that. Um... Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just, I'm just gonna fire then. Go for damage. Uh, so, since Talik, you're right there, I'm glad you're there, because I get to do sneak attack as well. So... Is Talik in melee range? Yes, he is! <laughs> He's standing on top of the badger! <laughs> and the badger was in melee range because it died. It's just hard to tell without, <laughs> it's just hard to tell without the grid. So, I missed the grid. 15... And 12, so, okay. Uh, 22 damage overall, I think. 
if that's right. No, wait. No, that's 15, that's definitely 27, not right. 32. 32, okay, sorry. So yeah, 32 damage into this thing. All right. So your arrows yeah. fly true, and they pierce the, car, the carapace, and it just rears back, and you just... And as it does, it looks at you, and it points the claw and shakes it in a menacing way as the form starts changing. What? What? Oh, what? God, it's a fucking druid. Or a shape changer. I don't think it's a were scorpion. I don't, I don't think those are a thing. I don't think, think those are a thing either. Might be? Um, either way... I don't think it's a normal scorpion. Well, hold up. If I'm, if I'm correct, what can what can they turn into? Oh God! If that thing is a druid, that might be, uh, it, the minimum that can, that can be is level nine. No, what that thing with the a level, fuck is that? That thing with a challenge reading three. It's a, he's at least stronger than I am. No, uh, no, yeah, that's what. I, level nine. So what's uh, before the moon. Talik now is. A hooded, blue-skinned giant with a cloak and a glaive in its hand. From behind its, it pulls a glaive from behind its back, where its stinger skit, where its stinger tail once was. Uh, 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 uh. You think your fort walls will stop, Skurg? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't understand the damn thing I said, did you? I um, no, 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 I did. I'm like, what the heck's a scared? But, um, <laughs> I, 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 I think he's been looking into a pond to keep saying that name every time. Um, I, I hate to do this to you guys, but I need, like, a second to pack my crap up because the library is closing. I managed, I managed to put Roll20 on my phone because I paid Ow. the money for it. I paid the money for it. Just try not to, uh... Cliffhanger? No, no, not cliffhanger. He just has to move locales. Yeah. So, locales. uh... Give me a moment, and I will get where I need to be. Yep. Um, but I am... I am in the roll 20, so... Uh... Just give me a moment. Alright, so that's your turn? Uh, I'm gonna... I was gonna use my, uh... My bonus action to see if I can see that other shape that was in the in the on the yeah you, you saw it earlier it's a it's a hobgoblin with a with a crossbow. Can I insight what it's doing? It's lining up a shot. At who? At who? Uh, you can't tell. Okay. Well, as a bonus action, I'm going to duck behind the wall to hide to see if I can get myself some cover. Uh, if I was a betting betting man, I think it's go. I think it's probably gonna go after either me or Talik. All right. So uh, uh, while bundles re reshaping, Fell, what are you doing? Um, I have a quick question. This guy's there is there is now a giant with bright blue skin, and he clearly has shape shifting abilities. Does he still have flow on him, however? He does. Cool. Then spellcasting is gonna be a bitch for him. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right. Is he wearing any metal or holding any metal of any kind? He's a druid. He has a glaive. He, he's holding a glaive, but it's basically a wooden staff with a sword sticking out the top. Damn. You can light him on fire, however. We have fire spells. I do not. <laughs> but I will use Guiding Bolt again. Oh yeah, one of the attacks was supposed to have an advantage against it. I wonder how much dexterity is. Ba -da -ba. Until my next turn. Uh, I believe the next the attacks were by the rangers on top of the place. Okay. Um, Brett, I have a question. Hi. 
Are these people <laughs> like, ow. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, are, are these people, like, getting inside the freaking building yet, or not? Uh, one of them did, the, uh, uh, there's a teenage girl who was on her, who was attempting her way in while the mother is still trapped behind the, trapped in outside. Shut All right. We need to get out of the way. Hopefully it's Dex as shit, because I'm gonna cast Fairy Fire. Mm. Let me just draw a square. If I can... Okay, so... Basically... 20 foot cube, so... Right... Here, basically. More or less. I don't know, it's hard without right. the grid. <laughs> I know. I'm cruel. It's okay. Alright. Roll for it. Okay, it fails. Yes! Congratulations. You're next. No, I have, have advantage. And as a bonus action. No, not like I'm just gonna be like, oh shit, oh shit. We know we. As a bonus action, she looks at da and Dash. You got this, Dash! Have a, uh, have a bardic inspiration. Hooray! That might actually come in handy for what I'm planning to do next turn! Hooray! Hey. Yeah, surprised any of you tried to look at the thing. Okay. Uh, look in the what? Well, I mean, I, uh, well, I, mean, I, I would have technically looked at the thing if I was gonna... Nah. Uh, okay, so, Rania, your turn. I mean, the guards are trying to help the poor teenage girl through, and she's a little stuck. Eh. Eh. Um, what are they using to pull up the the, um, uh, the uh, Are they pulling down the chain or putting uh, pulling up the chain in order to get it? Uh, for this, like, for open? this, for this specific door, they just open the porthole to try and have like the window for them to crawl through. Hmm. Like they're hoping All to right. keep the defenses up for now. Drive safe. I am, I am. Just, I don't know, control me while I'm driving? No. Please? I'm dangerous. Oh, I thought you said troll you while you're driving. I'm like, uh. No. <laughs> no, you goober. Alrighty, anyways. Rodney, you're disadvantage. Oh, you called him a goober. Okay. Okay, is there anything I can do to help them through? I guess I can try. Um. Ask if there's anything you can do to help. Is there anything I can do to help them? Uh, they look like they're, they're trying to pull her through, but she's a bit stuck. How stuck? Slightly. Like, by what? Is she caught by her clothes? Or what? what? What's happening there? Yes, by the trunk. By the trunk. The trunk full of... <sighs> just say it, Brett. No. <laughs> Otherwise, he will just keep pestering us. <laughs> what are you gonna do? But what is... What? With all of that junk. God damn no. it. Just do something. <laughs> I'm trying to see what Prestidigitation can do. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it can make her stir. It can make that trunk smell nice and sweet. <laughs> I think you're gonna be looking at a physical action of some sort. Ah, uh, I mean, I could Vine Whip her out. Sounds like the, the Vine Whip does damage, though. No, no, that's uh, Thorn Whip. I have, uh, I have, uh, like, a uh, whole fruit vine whip now, which doesn't do damage. Oh, yeah, it does, okay. It does pull her about ten feet towards me, but uh, there's not exactly ten feet towards me. So it's likely you just throw her on top of me, which would be bad. Or throw her over you. Mm. Yeah. Either way, that sounds like a lot of force, and I'm worried it would damage her. I think you can do I that. Mean, I think or... small... In I mean, I think small injuries are uh, are safer a uh, safer bit than you know being attacked by that fucker. <laughs> All right, oh, Rania, um, uh, uh, wiggles his hands and curls some vines around his chest. 
Uh, suck in your gut, lady! Uh, and uh, he uses a uh, vine whip on her. Okay. As a one. There is no damage, but it succeeds in doing what it needs to do. Alright, yeah, you, you grapple her and you successfully pull her free. Foomp, yeah. And she lands right. behind you in a heap. That's one. Alright. Sorry for the roughness, but. Uh, who's left? And the mother's trying desperately to get it. Please, keep him safe. Yeah, worry no. about yourself right now. They're inside. And we're gonna get you in, though. Um. Actually. Am I moving one step to the left? Sure. I'm asking her. The, the Persuasion. I gave you proficiency in that reason. That's an 18? Mm. Eh, okay, she moves like two feet to the left. This wouldn't hit her if I used uh, lightning. Oh, wait, I used my action. E. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Nix what I was about to do. Like, alright, never mind. I don't think uh, I can, do uh, can I now. move back now? Moving yeah, on, the it's archers. It's <laughs> <laughs> and like, nah. Oh crap! The size of that bugger! Kill it! How tall is this giant, out of curiosity? This, this giant is about 10, 11 feet tall. Okay, that might make what I'm about to do even more fun if I pull it off. It gave you inspiration! So wow, and they I... all miss. What the hell? Are you even with the Even with the freaking minus two AC? They all rolled under ten, under two digits. Remember, one of them, at least one of them has advantage. No, that, no, she didn't do a guiding bolt this turn. Oh, oh well, yeah, wait, no, I... fairy fire, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fairy fire! Fire. They all have advantage. Okay. The roll the bones again. I forgot about fairy fire. How could I forget about fairy fire? How could you forget about fairy fire? How could you forget about fairy fire? Actually, okay. you should probably uh, you should probably make that square of how uh, well where you passed it, so we know you where. Could, it is. but it's, it's such a bad to do. Do it. No. You don't want Alex to get in there. He, uh, uh, he's not. I did it specifically like this. So unless he goes like real fucking close, there. Thank you. Yeah, and thankfully it shouldn't. I should have to make a deck save when entering it, right? You will have to actually. Yeah, it, uh, every object within the twenty foot cube. Okay. Um, okay, so is Dash's turn after okay. the archers, uh, two of them managed to hit, so that is 2d8. That is 13 damage. Okay. My turn? Yes. Alright, first of all, I'm gonna rage. Arr. Arr. And then I'm going to charge at this thing and shoulder check it as hard as I can to either move it further away from the civilian, or if not, knock him down. Okay. Uh, you get to it. Strength check or th or th our athletics check. Uh, and will I have advantage because it's a strength check, regardless of its athletics or not? Yeah, make it an athletics check with advantage. And if you don't make it, then you still. I have don't think I need that inspiration with All a twenty-five. Right. So yeah, I, you I shoulder. Don't roll it yet. You give it a good shoulder check, and it stumbles backwards five feet. Remember to roll that, that, uh, that dex. And that was my action, right? 
Yes. Yeah, that would be my act. All right, I still have 35 feet of movement, so I'm going to move five more feet closer just so I can stay in melee range of it. And I have to make that deck safe. Yep. This one I might be using that bardic inspiration for. Go ahead. Yes, use I will be. Use it now because that, uh, what, that definitely one, is not. 1d8, one one right? 1d8. That definitely does not Fuck. be fancy. That was a 1d7. That... Should I reroll? Uh, you beat it, actually. Roll it again. But that was a 1d. Roll yeah, it. that was a 1d7. Okay, it's even better. You still beat it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you, you don't get fairy fired. Yeah, I just shoulder check this giant like sup. <laughs> you're not you're not tunnel drumped. So Alright. Dalek! You're outside a purplish haze while a dragon just tackled a giant dra a giant giant. <laughs> <laughs> a giant giant. Beautiful. Uh out of character. Can I get you know, that dash again to get tossed to uh, toss the rabbit? No, because I already used already my used action. action. You he would have to you would have to hold your act. He would have to hold his action until your action or to perfect that. Fastball uh, special requires two actions in a row. Ah, okay. Yeah, not only that, Dash again's concern was just making distance between yeah, the unless, giants. Unless you're effort. being catapulted by someone else, if this won't work that way. You can always move into melee range. Yes, I will. Okay, uh, let's see here. Wait, you can That's move him to the other like side, nine actually. Feet. Actually, yeah. You wouldn't get fairy fired, and uh, and you would get uh, and you would get advantage. And yeah, I'm that might be the best way to go. Uh, I think I think with your thirty foot movement speed, you can get behind him no problem. Yeah, if you use all 30 feet, you can manage to just get behind him. Okay, I will do so. Alright. Right there? Yep. And I am in melee range, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna adjust my token a bit just to make sure that looks better, if that's alright. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow, the change. To... But fucking, you underestimate how severe my OCD is. Talek, what are you doing? I'm going to take my shield and bash him in the back of the leg. Okay. That it. And then I'm going to swing with my mace and nail him right in the side in the rib cage. Uh, am I tall enough to hit him in the rib cage? Isn't he? No. What does shield bash do? You, it's like a tackle, but you use your shield as the as a weapon. Does it do damage? Yes. I then I'm going to swing with my mace and get an aim for the side for it. Okay. Am I tall enough to hit his knee? Uh, sure. Okay, then. Uh, to be fair, hitting someone in the shin hurts just as bad. Well, I'm just going to hit him in the leg. Simple as that. And remember, you do have... You have double proficiency is how you do it, right, Brett? Yes. And advantage from, from fairy fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, so should I re-roll the mace there? All right, you just miss. Well, remember, with... fairy fire. Okay, yeah, roll again. Uh, also, that um, with advantage. Yes. No, 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 no. Just roll again. No. Okay, fine. All right. It's still twenty-one. Uh, yeah, that hits. And I'm going to boost it with thunderous might. Uh, okay. I had to mute bundle. Alright. Oh, God! What happened? Talek, that might have been a bad idea. Wait, <laughs> oh! Alright, gotta see if this boy passes the 
save. I really hope he passes the save. <laughs> I know. Talek, why? <laughs> wouldn't that give you- wouldn't that make- give That you is a damage? nine plus... Talek, look who's in his path when you do that. <laughs> wouldn't you be able to just stab him with your sword? No, you will knock him on top of me. <laughs> and he Yeah, is he not falls on top of you, Dash. Oh. What? <laughs> I just yelled, Talek, you motherfucker! <laughs> Talek, you motherfucker! <laughs> Uh, he's like, uh, oh, yeah, I'm a dead rapid. <laughs> yes, you are! Dash might be legitimately angry at you for that. Uh, I didn't roll my mace damage. Good, also, isn't that motherfucker knocked bro oh, prone? Man. Yeah, that makes it harder for all the archers to shoot. Tell them that was the worst thing you could have done. <laughs> I should have gone. I, <laughs> I should have done Ava. Searing smite and so that was still 20 damage to him, but now he's got a new dragon friend. Hi. I will love him and feed him and stroke him and cuddle him. Well, this is gonna be this is gonna get really awkward if not. I, I assume I can't get up while he's on top of me. Nope. And while this is going on, the mother manages to crawl her way inside the porthole, and they start. Uh, raking up the door for uh, Rania and anyone else to usher out that door if they want to. Yeah. Uh, this also makes it extremely hard to do anything to this guy now that you guys are literally on Wait. top of him. Wait. How can I... I aim for his leg. Wouldn't that knock his leg on and made him fall to onto his side instead? Uh, not, how the, was... not how the... Not how the Thunderous Smite works. Yeah, it knocks it directly away from you, dude. Oh, I figured that. Look out. which direction it was directly away from you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you had maybe moved to the side of it and then tried that, sure. Yeah. But that's the thing. I was positioning, no. man. So, anyways. No. Uh, this, this is the direction your face held. Like, I know that you play Dark Souls, so you know how important positioning is. Alright, so... Uh... Penku Commander is <laughs> going to start to take a shot, and like... Ah, oh, crap. Eh... Uh... Mm -hmm. And she's gonna hold her action like I, I can't shoot it until that thing's out of the way. Ooh. That's a dragonborn, sir. Thank you. I know. <laughs> Just thought you wanted to know. The worst part of this way, your, is I By the way, reach. where's your belt, soldier? Oh my god, I just had it a second ago! <laughs> yeah, you oh. see? Question for when it gets to my turn. Would trying to shove him off of me count as an attack action or no? Uh, yes, it would, it would require an action. But would it count as an attack for the sake of keeping rage up? Uh, uh no. Yeah, you, you can still keep rage. Okay, thank God. Again, sorry, I didn't realize I was going to. It's okay. As long as I can keep rage. Now the battle's not too easy. Keep, as long as I can keep rage, I'll be fine. Should I should switch over to Javelin and just stab him in the back of the knee? Should just not knock him forward. But anyway. Uh, it's Bundle's turn. And Bundle is feeling the same way that she is. Like, God damn it! Now I can't fire at that thing or otherwise I'm gonna hit Dash. NOT MY FAULT! So I'm gonna hold action for that thing to get up <laughs> so I can shoot it in the head. Uh, I think he, we have to play Bun the Fall. I mean, I'm holding my action, so there's not really much he has to do. I just realized something. Like, what? I didn't put him on the turn order. 
That means he gets two huh. turns. Oh god. Okay, well, still. Please tell me he's at least below me. He's a six. Don't worry. So he gets a turn. And he just looks at the Dragonborn when he's like... Ugh. Talek, I'm going to kill you! We'll deal with that later. First we take out Big Blue and Ugly. Why, did, why would you insult him like that? You look nice and cuddly. <laughs> yeah, careful, this rabbit kicks. No, he's talking to Dragon. Yeah. Oh god. Careful, I might break you. I'd like to see that <laughs> happen. And he, he just puts his hands around your chest and starts squeezing with his claws. Wow. You know what? Those rolled off. Let me try that again. Okay, does an 18 hit you? Yes, it does. Thank God I have Rage Up. Oh God, I don't want to waste my cutting. Okay, the other one's a 22, so... Yeah, that one definitely hits. AC 16. That is nine slashing damage total. Okay, and cut that in half. No, no, no. It, it, was, it, was, it was 19 slashing damage. Cut down to nine. Oh. Okay, so... So I take nine... <laughs> fucking Christ, that hurt. That guy's not three, using four. more than one attack, is he? One, two, he did. Three, he used... Four, he, that was a multi-attack. Wait, wait. Uh, he had a multi-attack? Yeah. Wait, isn't he still slowed? He, I think, uh... Let's, uh, let's yes. go. Slow does make it to where you can only make one attack. Alright, you take, uh... Well, was you take three shit, slashing damage. Okay, so I... Okay, that's far less scary. I get slow enough. Yeah. spell and I love it. Nine damage after reduction is pretty is a pretty scary thought. Yeah. It could have been thirty-four. <laughs> oh Christ! Again, sorry, Dash. Again, I am very sorry. All right. So next up, we got uh me. Yeah. Fell. Here, here's a question. What about Goblin Boy over here? No, next up is actually Bundle. Um, well, he said he was hold holding it and then <laughs> fell. Uh, Goblin Boy is still trying to take aim. Huh. But he pauses, looks, like, hmm. Alright, he's going to take a pot shot at the rabbit. Mm. So he rolls disadvantage. What? Oh, come back here, you. No, go away. Okay, so that is... I think a 14 doesn't hit to Alec. <laughs> nah, the chain. <laughs> I think even with no, just his chain mail. Yeah, it lands just at your, just about five feet in front of you. <laughs> like a little crossbow bolt. Do you have the 21 or 22 uh, AP? 22. Yeah. What the fuck? Hey, who we'll fired off a crossbow? Who's throwing handles? Uh, so that's that, Fell. Okay, uh, Fell looks over a uh, situation like, oh god, okay, okay, think, think, come on, you gotta think. Oh, oh yeah, how could I forget about that? Magic missile. <laughs> Magic missile. And it will always hit its target, and never the other. <laughs> Which means you cast out this level. What? I'm kidding. Aww. Okay, thank you. Here's a level 2 magic missile, my god! Not bad. Is it base level magic- Oh, oh no, never mind. okay. Huh, when I rigged up my magic missile, I must have did it wrong then. Alright. Hmm. As you can see, 
as they get in there, they're still in trouble. Okay. So, hi. Hi. Changing things, so I'm not going to be annoying. Yep. Um, so the magic missile hits him. All right, all right, sorry about that. I'm back. Duh. Just four okay, missiles yeah, bludgeoning into into his head and chest and his back. Like, uh, 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 uh. Skurg does not approve. Some like icker falls onto Dash's face. Yeah. Sorry, Dash, but also screw you, you blue motherfucker. And then she remembers. Oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> For, uh, I used to be blue. <laughs> for, uh, for flavor, uh, Rania sneaks her hand out and uh, precipitation the uh, inner off the dash. Is that but your it's... action? Because that precipitation no. takes an action. Oh god, no. Well, I guess Rania's not doing anything next turn. Oh! Is that your turn, Fel? He yeah, just, that's my turn. He just stands there under the gate like that one guy from the Princess Bride. Like, <gasps> <laughs> you guys remember that scene? Where oh they, where god! They, where they, they're storming the castle, and that they open the giant just opens the gate. And that one guy is standing there, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember. God, I look. Right. Uh, I want Princess well, Bride to come back to Netflix. Dagger it, Rania. Yeah. All right. So I did not do the prestigious thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that takes an action. Okay. You're you are correct. To, you're gonna have to be grody for a little. Okay, but Lily, I'm not sure what else I can do. He's still on top of you, Arch, uh, isn't he? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> uh, and the, I'm pretty sure this guy's a. So, uh, putting down any sort of rough terrain would be... It, it wouldn't matter. Uh, how far is this gonna Where be? specifically? Wait, catch up Dash in that rough terrain. Mm. Unlike a magic missile, you cannot, you cannot sculpt the spell. At least not yet. Yeah, I can't do too much, uh... Like, the only offensive uh, spells that I can do instantly... You could press the digitation that Icar off of him. No. You, could, you, could hold your, you could hold your action for now until I can get this fucker off of me. Like, I, mean, I could... Sorry. I'm pretty sure that you would die if I did Lightning Bolt. I don't want that I, to happen. Even without <laughs> him off... Even without him on me, I am in your line of fire for that, sir. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> although, I... Ooh, that still could be pretty damaging to you. Yeah, so I'm not going to do tidal yeah. wave. The, the only element I resist is acid. I don't have acid. Well, I don't have a yeah. lot of acid. Yeah, if you had acid, I would be more okay with it. How would you feel about water? Does it do damage? Tidal wave? Yeah. It does bludgeoning. I could resist that, but... Eh... Uh. Let's not make it. Let's not make the situation worse than what it already is. Yeah, I can get him from there. So, uh, Rania strolls out of here. He's like, "Hi." Oh God, are you in melee range? <laughs> Uh, yet. Yes, you are in melee range if you go there. Yeah. Alright, so that happened, is that your turn? Uh, oh god damn it. So uh, this uh, poison spray doesn't do cone damage, it's just a straight line, right? It didn't say cone. So, uh, can I hit him with, uh, Poison Spray and not hit Dash? Dash would still have to make that save. Uh, hold really? on. 
Well, I mean, it's a spray. I'm not calling the thing, though. Poison spray. Yeah. It would take up an entire range of 10 feet. Yeah, it's a puff of noxious gas. The creatures in the area must make a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 poison damage. Uh, it says toward a creature. It looks like it can only target one creature. I'm going to say for this specific situation, they would both need to succeed on that saving throw. Son of a bitch. Okay, can I mix uh, that I moved over there then? Okay. Okay. I didn't go other than Uh, there's really fuck all I can really do other than, uh, dash you. I can't do anything until it's my turn. No, um, uh, uh, it, it, uh I look over at dash. Okay. Don't you look hurt? I have only taken three damage. Okay, never mind. But he also um, got slimed. Oh god, no, he slimed. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, uh, stand in front of the gate. If he moves anywhere close to me, I am going to unleash my tidal wave spell on him. Oh joy. So I'm, ready again. So I'm going to ready an action for tidal wave. Okay. Uh, the archers, uh, two of them hold their action. The <sighs> fairy fire would make it a normal attack. Meanwhile, the uh, one of the wood elf girls takes a look around and spots the hop, spots the goblin up on the ash pile, and takes a shot at it. Ah, uh, just misses. It's like lands at. It like whizzes past its ear, and it's like, ah! and Dashkin, it is now your turn. All right, back to where you were, motherfucker. And I am going to try and shove him off of me back towards where he originally was. That I originally shoved him until Talik ruined it. I'm sorry. Dashkin. It is mad at Talik. So strength or athletics check to get him off of me. Strength check. You have advantage. <laughs> Fuck, that's a ten. You get him about awesome. halfway off you, but he just grabs you again and is like, Oh, we're not going to be separated for a while, cuddly one. Uh, I don't lose rage from that, though, right? Nope. I'll be nice, for now. Reason I did that. Okay. Because right. if, if if I was go if I was to lose rage, I would have wanted to try and attack him and Yeah, I guess that's all I can do for my turn. Sorry. Again. <laughs> it happens, I think. Maybe. Who knows? Do any of us know? I don't think we do. Alright, so... Maybe don't hurt And don't worry, I'm still here, so don't push it out. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, the boy is gonna get up, with his foot still on dash again, and he's gonna look behind him to the pallet, and he's gonna say, Hey. What's up, man? You look chillier. <laughs> you look chilly. And he casts Cone of Cold. That's a very high spell. Oh god. Spell that I can wait. Yes, yes I can. But oh shit. So, um, make a con save. Oh. Cone of oh. I don't learn- Well, he only takes half damage. 
Cone of Cold is a ninth level spell, by the way. Yeah. Wait. You just got hit with a very high level spell. Okay, you take 14 cold damage. Wow. <sighs> 42. Oh. He lives in the front. Let's see. Are you basically looking at what he will become? <gasps> Wait, are you sure that uh, are you sure that druids can learn cone of cold? Hell yeah, they can. Well, uh, at least the arctic, uh, at least the land druids can. Oh, okay. I, I was like, that's a sorcerer and wizard yeah. spell. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, circle of land spells are like um, uh, like the lord uh, the lore bar. They can learn spells that they normally can't. All right, so Talik, you have icicles on you. Ugh. <laughs> uh, does that uh, give me any form of disadvantages? Let me check. Let me I don't check. believe it does. I think if he makes the save, it only does half. Yeah, it only, it only does, does half, half damage. damage. Uh, yeah, you weren't killed by it, so that doesn't come into effect. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I know what that is. Yeah, if he's killed by it, he turns into a literal block of ice. It's basically just, disintegration, just like Anna. Wait, so I survived an instant KO kill. If it reduced you yeah. to zero hit points, it would have instantly killed you. Yes. If, mm -hmm. if it uh, if it rolled, they would have had a cart. They would have had a cart around a bun a frozen bunny statue with them for some goddamn reason. If it uh, if it uh, if it rolled max damage on almost all of the uh, almost all of its dice. It might have killed you in one shot. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going to do something very stupid now. Hooray! <laughs> wow. It can't be any worse that. than knocking him on top of me and effectively removing me from the fight for now. I'm going to enter the box. Dixie! <laughs> you take. You. Not take. You. Yeah. Do not make it. <laughs> That that definitely does not beat my my DC. Damn. All right. So what you doing, boy? Well, I'm going to grab hold of the uh, clock, uh, his robe or whatever, and pull him off a dash again. Okay. He's already off. Of Isn't he already off a of dash? No, oh, his, his foot's, foot's on. on me. Foot's what? on. So okay. Uh. uh Guess. He did stand, by the way, so couldn't everyone have taken shots at him who were holding their actions? Yeah, um, one of them, Fayette, is tempted to. He's like, nah, I'm still too close. A Cooper could take off him. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, uh, Talek, what else are you gonna do? Wait, um, Dalek, did t Dalek was trying to pull him off me, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Let's go with a dex check. Dex check? No, dang it. No, no, dang it, set the crossed cups. Okay, so what? Dex check? Uh, check, dex check. check. Dex check. Alright, you give it a swift tug. And he's, he mostly holds his ground. He leans a little bit, but he's like, mm, no, no. So I'm, no. so I'm still stuck. A little bit, yeah. Okay, that's one action. Oh wait, uh, that's no, right. that's that's an action. Damn it, I can't do it. You attack, get two man. attacks if you take the attack after you still get one action. Ah, damn it. Okay, that will be my turn then, because I don't yeah. got no bonus moves yeah. yet. Yeah. Dash gets such like, talk rabbit, I talk after this! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know! Like the rookie and the super raunch detective. Alright. <laughs> Top movie. Alright, so, that's just gonna... Oh, crap. 
Um. I wasn't prepared for this crap, but I'll take a shot at it just for the hell of it. Remember fairy fire? Yeah, that fire? definitely hits. Oh boy! Oh boy! It, it pops into one of its pectoral muscles and it's like, Ugh, that's not friendly. How hurt is he looking? He's got some blood. He's, he's bleeding. He's bloody. Oh boy. This guy has a big health head. This guy has a huge health bar. That's Oni for you. It's a fuck mothering Oni? Oni? <laughs> okay, it's a good thing I didn't use fire then. No, it's an ice Oni. <laughs> I should use fire then. Ha! Huh. I should have recognized what it was. Why should you? Why should you have recognized it? it because critical roll. It could have been an ice giant. Anyway. Why is there an Oni druid? It's not a druid. It transformed you into animal and. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Now it's- now it's bleeding quite well, I was like... Ugh. Ugh. It's like, alright, your turn, Whiskers. Yum, yum, yum. Don't mind if I do. Oh, thank God. Shoot him in the eye. First I know how scary an Oni can be. Nah, this is just a baby Oni. Fuck you, Rania. How is he positioned on top of Dash? He just got like, a sing He's got his just got his right clawed foot on top of him, just keeping him down. All right, I give a whistle as just before I'm about to fire to get him to look at me. What the fuck you? Tell uh. me? I get him in both of his eyes. All right, so you sink these things air, like feather deep into his skull, like, <laughs> and I'm sorry, Dash, but blood. Oh God! Wait, will he be falling backwards onto me? Have you guys ever seen Is Evil I... Dead Two? <laughs> oh, I don't remember the scene you're talking about. The but walls. Yes. When he shoots I... the walls. Oh, no. <laughs> Dash oh. is furious. The amount of blood. Or imagine that ending from Ghostbusters when the dickless gets soaked in Marshmallow Man. Oh, oh God. God. I am so sorry, Dad. Oh, but it doesn't gonna... fall on you. It falls on Talek. Oh. Oh shit! Uh, that doesn't make yeah. Dashkin feel any better. It's a blood pressure. Yeah, it, it it's trying to claw the arrows out of its eyes. It's like, <laughs> 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 and it finally collapses on top of Talon. Who can make a deck save? Oh, shit. And I wasn't allowed to make a deck save. <laughs> Yo, so is inside the ferry. No, it still lands on top of you. Yeah. Justice. Wow. <laughs> and Justice. It, it in a last futile motion, it pulls out a a little rocky amulet and just speaks aloud. Oh, you may have beaten Skurg. But you know not what's coming. And eats the amulet and it combusts into an icy flame. 
Wait, the... Wait. The, the Oni or the amulet? Yes. Oh! Oh, oh thing is how I get... Uh, yeah, Talik, you take... do 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 10d8. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> not a, I'm not a monster. Jesus. Yet. Quiet, you. <laughs> Please stop freaking me out. So you take nine cold fire damage. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Uh, 93. Well, seeing as how I'm the one that got the killing blow, I look back to the colonel and just give a smile. I'm like, eh. Are we still, like, not out of combat? She holds up a little sign that says six. Oh, come on, that's a seven at best. <laughs> Is combat over, or is that hob, or is that hobgoblin still taking pot shots at us? That hobgoblin takes a pot shot at the at the green girl who managed to get close to it. Mm, let's have a little war here. Ooh, oh my! So yeah, um, this girl gets hit in in the sternum, like. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Like if you if you could hear any music right now, it would be the the Pokemon Health is now red song. Oh God! Do, do I see uh, this? Okay, it, it so just collapses to the time. floor. Healing word. It's not my turn. Wait, wait! Pull the arrow out, then heal her. Well, it is your turn now because he used his finesse for killing blow and all that. Okay, where is she? She's right over there. Right? Yeah, she's like. 12 feet away from you, maybe. Yeah, 13 feet away. <laughs> and uh, Phil's just like, move! Uh, move, and she, and she goes over to <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> you step right, on his tail I... as you pass by. Oh! <laughs> Get out of my oh! way! <laughs> ah! Alright, uh, right, what do I roll to properly get the uh, uh, get the arrow out? That's how we call a medical check. My god, thank you. And that's a 22. Alright, yeah, you, you manage to... You break it off at the hilt and leave it in there because you realize, yeah, that I don't know where that arrow is, so I don't want to pull it out and risk, like, the fluid coming out with it, so... You just de-knock it, and you just... Uh, you do cast healing word. I cast healing word. Okay. Uh, roll the uh, roll the the dice. I'll roll it. Roll it. Level three because I'm not taking it. All right. Yeah. You 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 heal up a little bit where she's she's actually breathing still like. <gasps> okay. <sighs> deep breaths. Deep breaths. <sighs> She nods slowly with her her golden bronze eyes. <gasps> and there's Cody. Hey Cody. Go, Cody. There, there's a what? pair of your there's well one of your friends is free, but the other one's trapped underneath this cold fire thing. And then there's fire. all these kids and people behind you. And then there's that thing up there. And there's uh. Am I aware of the goblin man over there? Make a perception check. I'm firing over at my ally. It's seven shift, uh, shift ah, damn it. My god! Oh my okay. god! Talix on fire! But it's so cold outside! <laughs> He's on fire! Uh, is he on fire? I don't know. I can't feel my toes right now. Is he, like, literally on fire, or...? Well, it's sort of like this... this white flame that as you get closer it gets colder it's like uh frostbite and badgie is still dead well um albert can i uh, can i put albert uh, back into uh, uh into uh his uh, his bag as a bonus action well, you can scoop what's left if of him into there as your action uh, I'm pretty sure that they turn back into gray balls once they die. Fine. 
You scoop the okay. gray ball back and there's a bonus action. Happy. Yeah. Uh pretty sure just spell magic cannot be done as a ritual. I'm not sure what to do about the situation. Hmm. Hey Dash, you alright? What do you fucking think? <laughs> he sounds very salty. Right. Where there once was a black dragonborn, there's now this gray amorphous blob with horns. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to pull you out of there. Uh, but uh, try to, try to grab the hold, okay? Sleight of hand disadvantage. Sleight of hand? I'll give you vine whip. Oh, okay. Screw that noise. I can't lift him. But my vines can. Because I'm prone, wouldn't it still be a disadvantage? Yes. Would that be a- wait, uh, since he's prone, would it be an advantage? No. Considering he is prone, oh. Because you have to wrap the vine under him somehow. Unless you're yeah. gonna put it around his throat. Well, that does not hit. Like, eh. I think I can get yeah, up it's, on my it's, own. It's, it's still slick. It's still superbly slick. So you get it around him, but you try and pull, and it just l and it whisks over his head. Eh. <laughs> Dude. Eh. I can't really. I can't. I can't really help too much. I can get well, up on my own once it's on my turn. Billyam is still as fairy fire. It's weird. I, I can't. I can't get in there. Just get in there. Still <laughs> fairy fire. Just get in there. Release the fairy fire! No! <laughs> Let it get to my turn so I can get up! And then right. punch Kalik when I can! So, uh, the, the two archer boys who aren't dying... Uh... It takes shots... Uh, okay. They hit the hobgob. Do they? Okay, no, actually they don't. Damn. I forgot how good this guy's armor class was. Uh, okay. So, he just takes... They both miss him, and they're like, oh, shit. Meanwhile, he takes another pot shot at... Uh, you know, he's gonna take a pot shot at Dash. Now, since you are, I believe, are out of his attack range... And I'm not very fired. I made. I used the inspiration for that deck save. That's and he's prone. Right, also. so it is still Fire. disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I. Uh. Yeah, let me that. Check. Because there's a fire fire around him, he has disadvantage on everything. Uh. That is a 15 to hit you. My armor class is 16. All right. Yay! So yeah, it it just tinks off your your pectoral. You're like, huh? Oh. <laughs> do I do I notice him now? Do I notice him now? Uh, sure. Yeah. Like, what? That's a goblin over there? I don't believe in goblins. Alright, Dash, it's your turn. Alright, half my movement to get up, and I'm assuming this boy's still on cold fire. Yeah. And I know for a fact Talek's under him. Yep. Dash debates leaving Talek for a moment, but is like, oh, ancestors, oh, yeah. damn it. And he will try to fucking roll this boy off of Talek with all his strength. Okay, strength. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming I will be losing my rage after this. Yes. Make it count. Fifteen. All right. You take three cold damage, but you manage to Fuck! to roll them off. Your, your palms and hands get a little frostbit. For my bonus action, can I just punch Talik? You can slap fair. him. To be fair, I'm. To be fair, Dash can't. To you can slap fair. him or backhand him. You cannot punch him. Backhand. I am going to backhand him well, after well, I have a clear. Right. I'm going. No, Dash is angry at you. He's yeah, going to backhand Talik as. 
Throw away. You you won't be taking damage from it, but you will be dash taking backhand. You will be taking talic. slime pride damage from it. Yes. <laughs> Dashing Ew. in backhand talic as hard as he fucking can. You stupid motherfucker. Do you even know what your own stuff does? And then he'll start moving towards uh. Use the rest of his movement speed to move towards this point. Now Talik is cold and slimy. <laughs> and hopefully sad. And oh, Talik holds like... up his hand with a... To be fair, you didn't get burned by ice. I have ta... Wait. To be fair, I didn't friendly fire you! Wait, try to pass the body. You need to stuff Do... on him. Colonel Fayette looks to Bundles like... Uh, nice, nice uh, friends you've got here. I assume they're yours. Come on, get, stay with me. That, that is as far as Dash can get. Although, the, although says, she she points to fell. Although this one seems okay. Uh, he just says, uh, "I think we can get." Hey, hey Dash help. is reasonably upset. <laughs> can you really blame him? <laughs> I mean, I'm not blaming you. I'm just responding to what she's saying. Alright, that's all I can do. And big boy's off of Talik now. Yep. Someone put the big boy out. He may have some cool stuff. <laughs> dude, dude, Talik, I, I'm feeling sorry for you, but we really need to raid this guy's pockets. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm sorry, but I just but we're... Been crushed and burned. And Talik slapped. Looting. Yes! <laughs> you take... You take 71 pride damage. Good job! I'd like to think most of that is from the backhand. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. And his soul <laughs> floats up to heaven. No, you're not oh. dead. You're Spirit's oh. just broken at the moment. <laughs> sad Naruto music. Okay. Oh, Alexa, that's so sad. Play me some Despacito. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of you. One little hey, wait, it should be Talek's great. turn by now. Yeah. Unless his voice getting back up. <laughs> well, now that you mention it. God, God. I'm just imagining. I'm just imagining Dash saying, "That's so sad." Fell played this pasito. All right, Talik. Yeah, no, Dash Talik, would be like, you, "That's so sad." You, 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 you're, you're you're uncovered. I'm just laying there with a imprint with my body just planted into the ground. Makes mm. sense. <laughs> All right, Fayette's like, "Where the hell is that little bat?" There he is. Points at Hobgob is like, You! Get the fuck off my ash pile! What? Is everything. The, the, hobgo the Hobgoblin lifts up, lifts up the. gives her the bird. He's like, Oh, you're gonna give me the bird. I'll give you the bird! And points again, <laughs> cast Hail of Thorns. Come on, take off his finger, take off his finger! <laughs> Oh, it's just in range too. I can cast. Uh, I can cast. Wow, that's max uh, damage. Cast... My God, if she hits. Oh my! Hit, 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 hit! That uh, that hits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it only does 18 ah. damage. Because yeah, there is no ally within range of it. Oh. Uh, still though. Hefty hit. See, so, yeah, she just hits it in the bicep, like ah! Puts down its one arm, puts up the other arm, gives her the bird. It's like, ah, I'm gonna kill that guy. How about uh, how about I give you the chance, though? You're too kind. It's your turn, bundle. No, no, no. You, you, just, just hear me out. He says he knocks an arrow. Hello? We lost the cat. Meow, meow, meow. Meow mix. No. No, I think you forgot he's been playing. Uh, I'm killing that spell. <laughs> <sighs> mm. 
do you explain that to her? I'm... I'm trying to think, I was going to ask, is there a way I can use this and fire? Uh, no. Uh, no. It takes an action that says the next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack. Oh, that is weak. It's super weak. Yeah. Well, then I'm just going to shoot it. Fuck this guy. That, that does not hit. How about that one? That one does hit. Alright, you, you plant him right in the nuts. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what, guess what you get for being a dick to the lady. You dick. I'm thinking I, dare you bird. I dare you to throw me the bird. I'll go for the other one. He, he disappears. He just like climbs down the ash pile towards the other side. And he's a... Ay, shite. I just, now, I just brushed that ash pile, too. Now we could've suited his body! Combat over. Combat is now over. Well, he's... Bundle's just gonna look to, uh... to the colonel and like, so... will this, uh, help our negotiation? Association. Can somebody please help this or help this woman? She's. Uh, I think she's. <laughs> Why you, uh, standing around the body, currently burning with blue flame. Like, how the hell do I put this out? Cold, so water wouldn't help. Hmm. And uh, Fayette looms over the the wood elf. It's kind of like, Elgin, are you okay? Uh, th this this wood elf with her with her with her brass golden eyes has a a light blue reverse mohawk. So, Wait, so and it, Fayette just on? Fayette just strokes her hair like, are you gonna carry through? He's like, <gasps> yes, my liege, I do. For you. Good girl. And points to uh, one of the rangers, like, take take her to the medical wing, please. Like, yes, ma'am! Just take off the poor woman. Dash again heads over to the civilians. Are you all alright? Yeah, you're big and strong. Oh. God, that was close. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just wish I could have did more. There he was, says as he There was a bear that the... stopped the blow. Wait, a bear? <laughs> it, 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 that's that. Yes, yeah, big like ghost bear just stood in front of the scorpion. Uh. Oh yeah, right. The ancestral guardian. Mm -hmm. Can Felsey dash from uh, there? Uh, no, you you have to look through the floorboards in order to see him. Yeah, All dash right. thinks a moment, then smiles after realizing what the what the kid's talking about. Oh, can thank my ancestors for that one. He, he says with a chug on, ruffles the kid's head. Just so still covered in goop. Your ancestor was a bear. It, it was a dragonborn. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably get this cleaned up. Fell, you know prestidigitation, right? Yes, I do. Uh, so, like, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, they'll help. He says, um, pointing to himself and the kid he just slimed. Uh, Fell, uh. Fell says, "All right, I'll be right. I'll be right down." She looks to to the uh, to the colonel. Excuse me for a moment, and she heads down the ladder. Ronnie is currently trying to press the digitation. Like, eh. Trying to press the digitation the fire. Uh huh. Uh. 
it you you cast preservation. This is magical fire, so it's not really going anywhere. Do you have Damn to spell it. magic? Not on me at the time. Shit. I do. No. Looks like, looks like we're gonna put fail to work then. Oh, well, what are you done doing? Whatever you're doing over there. You mind doing something with this guy? He's like burning, and I can't. Can get I see stuff. that spell real quick? The spell magic? Yeah. Uh, got it. Uh, I just spelled a freaking snowstorm. Spell third level or lower. Well, he's dead, so he can't yeah, exactly do a DC. Well, no, she she has to make a DC check against the, its spell level. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he's alive or not. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, the effect would be the flame. Make charisma. Your charisma is your spell casting? Yeah. Uh, but first, I felt, I felt like, okay, I'll be right, right there. She, uh, she, by this moment, she, by this time, she, she would have already dispelled a uh, fairy fire and cast precipitation on, uh, on Dash again. Removing the slang. Okay, Dash gets out of the way so Fel can go do her thing. And cast precedent. <laughs> Say again. Uh, she, uh, she cast precedentation on the kid's head that's covered with slime. <laughs> yeah, it becomes a right tussle. <laughs> and she goes over and uh, and she attempts to dispel it. Dispel it. So charisma check. Charisma check. Will do. Come also, on I think me. Something's wrong with something's wrong with Alan. Uh. Yay! Oh. Oh. Well then. Yeah. <laughs> what was the DC? <laughs> it wasn't that big. So yeah, the uh, the fire dispels, and it's only mostly charred, f frozen charred away. Sort of like it's freeze dried, but charred. Whoa, what? Yeah. Check. Dasher King gets to work trying to help check him for good shit. Let's loot the party! And, and while that's happening, uh, Bundle's talking to the Colonel. What was this guy anyway? What can we both to try and do? This is goddamn Oni. Hold on, Oni. Wait, what? You get those often? No, but I saw one when I was actually in proper infantry. They're usually over in the swampy areas and over in the canyons, but not over this far. Can we try to make a check to figure out what an Oni's deal is? Uh, sure. History check. What would you. Okay. Seven. <laughs> what's it? No. Wait. What's an Oni? Oni, Oni. Oh, Neo. <laughs> Fuck, okay. <laughs> okay, Fel knows that they eat babies. <laughs> Why don't you tap your fingers together? It's an 11. 11 and... That's a 13. I don't know shit. No, okay, okay so what do those rolls give them? Um, Dash, you're like, Oni. That sounds bad. Only, only, only bad things have those simple names. Uh, <laughs> Rania, it's more like, um, I think those are like bad giant mages? Fell, they're basically giants with mage abilities. Felix Who also the eat children. My god. Felix yeah. to the end uh, to, um, Rania and Dash. They're basically giants with magical abilities. I don't know what what no uh, what one was doing here though. Oh, no. He kicks it. It's dead now, so Yeah. Dash gets to go, work trying to loot it. I'm gonna go check and uh, check on the uh, on the on the on the people. Investigation check to loot. Sure. Eleven. Mm. Can I assist with that? Sure. Cool. She tapped her finger together. Mm -hmm. Investigation. Got the seventeen. Your people. fingers fall off. Oh damn! Ah, uh, that's, that's a really bad hangnail, dear. It is twenty-one. Oh. I put the decision off the hangnail. Ow! 
I, I think that was still hurt. I think you might take a point of damage for that. And he does. Ah! Um, <laughs> so, between the two of you, you guys find... Alright, first let me double check the calculator here. Let me see the calculator, man. Man, there's a calculator. There's a calculator. A calculator? Yeah. Well, I'd rather calculate now. Too bad. Twenty-one. Bullshit. Uh, <laughs> really Reme remember, he has been ha having you make rolls where guidance won't oh, count. That, so. That's where the book is. Stupid, crapping, schmapping duper. What's your language? Quiet, you. Oh man, you even bar soap for call that person. <laughs> Rolling 3D? Well then. Uh, that's a pretty high roll. 3D like, well then. That seems like bullshit. Well, uh, what's bullshit? Do not rob us of what we have earned. Oh, wait. Right. Individual treasure. Shit. I kind of wish it was a little harder. I had to roll. God damn it. Mm -hmm. 93, it's, uh, I didn't even suffer any damage from this fight. So I mean, I didn't take any damage either. Yeah, neither All right. did I. I did again. Did you jack shit? Alright, so you find... You got gold, to be a bit. You find 80 gold pieces, half of which are in gold teeth. Oh, God. Okay, so Dash is going to split that between him and Rania just for easy bank keeping. Uh, 80 gold and... pieces, so I get 40. Yeah, you get 40. Okay, Let me so... see here. Let's get some mundane treasure in here. Let's get some knickknacks in here. Yeah, we'll split this between each other now, but I'll uh, but try like, to add some to the treasures later. Yeah. <laughs> and then you pull through his through like his knapsack pocket, like his hooded pocket, and you find a black stone eye that when you look at it from a peculiar angle, it seems to glow and glint in the noonday sun. But it could just be your imagination. Yep, yeah, I've got something for you, Bell, to try and identify. One yeah. second, she's checking up on the and she's checking up on the on the people, seeing if they're alright, if any of them are hurt. What? <laughs> what? All right, and the last thing you find in his pocket is a frostbitten scroll. That helps. Two things for you to identify. And wait a second, didn't he also have a glaive? He did. You want it? Dash. It's called the touch. Does it look? Hey, fell mind trying to identify this glaive too. No, well, you got a whole bunch of things to identify here. Yeah, depending on what this glaive is, Dash might be calling dibs on it. <laughs> sound like I can use it. Okay, sorry about that. What did I miss? Uh, uh basically, loot. The body. Loot. Yeah, loot. Dash, we're asking, I felt I identify a blackstone eye, a scroll, and the glaive it had. And if it if it's more than just a normal glaive, Dash is calling dibs. And Phil's just trying to check, uh, trying to check up on people that uh, yeah, that are there, seeing if they're okay. Out of the man-sized hole he, that's matching his body. No, yeah, no. he's we fine. Yeah, Dash fine. is too angry to check on you. Again, sorry. Okay, he um, is. He is quite frankly super sick of all the friendly fire he's been getting in a short period of time. Can so somebody please say if the uh, kids Rania are okay? Picks up both the blackstone eye and the scroll using her towel. 
And yeah. he like sets it on the ground for a foul to You, you pick up the, the the paper and you're like, wait a minute, this isn't tied properly. I just want to know if they're I, okay. I'm not gonna do anything with that. She sets it down onto the ground with uh, on top of the towel, uh, both the eye and the scroll. Dash will, against his better judgment, attempt to move the glaive over to the identify pilot with his bare hands. Does anything happen upon touching the glaive? Nope. It's just really okay. ice cold. Okay, move it to the identify pile. Ryan takes out a branch um, uh, that he has in his pack and he pokes the scroll slowly with it. I just want to know if the kids are okay. <laughs> are the kids okay? Kids okay. Thank you. The I'm one who's like, like, I got slimed! Get my cut out. The one kid's like, I got slimed! <laughs> yep. Welcome to Nickelodeon. <laughs> While well, waiting, Dash is gonna here. try something. He's gonna try to summon one of his uh, ancestral uh, one of his ancestral spirits to like try and entertain the kid with. You do that? Like a I don't know. And Val's gonna go over. Okay. What do you need me to identify? Uh, we got a scroll and we got an eyeball. All and right. a glaive. Oh, yeah, and, and a glaive. glaive. Alright. Give me a moment. And she, okay. and she prepares identify. Hold on a second. Uh, Ronnie, uh, Ronnie lifts mm -hmm. up his hands to her. And she, high five. And she, uh, she high five, uh, five spur him, them, them. She high fives yeah, them. Yeah, like that. And she's gonna cast Identify. On... Um... Well, don't I have to roll a... Uh, well, I mean, I was... She, she was gonna try to do it on the scroll, the glaive, and the, uh, and the, black, um, the black eye stone. Sure but I remember three, how... Three M's, right? Yeah, I, I remember how we did it. That is that uh, we roll a charisma, yeah. a charisma check too. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so. Mm -hmm. So That's what's your roll? Uh, to identify this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, you identify. Uh, so the glaive, you take it over the all three items, or which item? The whole three saying? items. No, all no, right. no, hold up. No, wait, 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 wait. I do each item individually, so I can get and get all the information. I still have spell slots. I'm good. Okay. So the glaive is not magical. Oh. Boo. The glaive isn't magical. Oh, nah, glaive. boo. The wait, what does the glaive look like? The scrap of paper... Is not magical. The uh, the paper is not magical. The eye is not magical. Blinks at you. The eye you yeah. identify as the hailed amulet of brute. Can you, Can you write that brute? down? What does that do? It okay. sounds like he said Groot. I am Groot? Quote unquote? Question mark? We're gonna get sued? Question mark? Nah, Disney already fired that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Disney's trying to fire, um, uh, Drats, I think. The Hailed Amulet of the Brute. You gather that this item will increase your maximum hit points by three when worn, and your strength ability will also increase by two. Well, oh, this is either really good for or kind of good for bundle. This would be amazing for Dash again. Uh, 
And don't forget garlic. And oh. uh, and Fel just magical, magical papers, not magical. This, oh, mm. huh? When you this, roll. this she picks up the um the the eye is the hailed amulet of brute. Hmm. Okay, what does it do? <laughs> It'll make. It's like, okay. Okay, what is it? <laughs> She, uh, she says it ma- it makes you stronger and uh, and you know more healthier in a, in a way. Would you guys be all right if I claimed that? Or it's fine with me. It's pretty fucking good, but, uh, but, but yeah, it's better for Dash. Use it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Hit a lot too. Technically, Bundle's not in this. He's still on the barracks. Okay. And Fel's just like, I don't mind if you. Uh, with, with a sigh, Dash looks to Talik. Are you fine if I cl- if I claim this, Talik? Mm, to be fair, you deserve it. Okay. Now, and, <laughs> see, I said, we damn are, right I do. <laughs> yeah, and Dash is like, by the way, seriously, we need to have a talk about friendly fire later, all of us. Note to self: yeah. Don't you thunder smite when friends are around. Or at the very least, make sure I'm not in the line of fire. Or at least yeah. make sure you prepare to swing when I use it. Ronnie is opening up the but, scroll and he looks at it. Gar. But uh, Dash holds its hand, holds his hand out for the uh, black eye, and I'm assuming it has like a string or a chain on it to wear it as a necklace, right? Nope, it's literally just a rock. Oh. Eat it. Maybe you just have to hold it. Not sure. Yeah. Or maybe you can make it into a I I assume it needs to be attuned to, right? Yes. Alright, well... So I'll just hands it to him. Like, alright, here you go. Dash oh, will take... Me. I gotta get back. Dash will take it, make sure to keep it on his person, and we'll attempt to attune to it. Is it uh, actually eye size? And Fel's gonna head back up while they those two are talking. Yeah, Dash will... Finally, get over his anger and help Talik up out of the hole. Ronnie's still trying to read the scroll. <laughs> and I need, I need to AFK real quick. What do I need to roll to attune just so I can get that out of the way for the uh, time that'll being? I'll be doing a short rest, but we're gonna end very shortly because I have to get up for work in five and a half hours. All right. Okay. Well, well in, that, in that case, I really need to use the restroom. So have a good night, Brett. All right. Have a good night. Okay. So, so come up here and pick up the, uh, our next section. Uh, next uh, session. Uh, I'll, I'll quickly let uh, Phil. Uh, the paper is not magical. Oh yeah, the paper is not magical. Mm. Hey, I have this scroll. Mm. Yeah. You have the scroll. I'm trying to look at the scroll. All right, you, you look at the scroll. Uh huh. It is the deed to thirty acres of land. Um. Wait, what the fuck? Damn. Damn. <laughs> That's the farming land right there, right there. Thirty acres of what land? Uh, where? Thirty acres of thirty acres of mining land near a granite outcropping to the south of Redport. Oh. 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 Mm. Wait. Oh! Hey guys, I think I got our next. Uh, I think I uh, got a property. <laughs> From the people That's who were nice. slaughtered by this thing! Hey guys! I think, uh. I think we're landowners now. Cool. Pain. Yeah. Hey Talek, you'll be interested in this. It's mining land! Nice. Now, if you don't mind, Ugh. I need a hot bath. Uh, run your wonders over to Talik. Uh, first he uses uh, cure wounds on him uh, to the uh, like uh, relieve any sort of pain or like damage he took, and then he uses um, presentation to clean him up. Hey, go, buddy. Cool. No, you don't mind. I need a hot bath. 
All I right. Go back and, and with get that, that the group makes it back towards the fort. Fayette nods politely to you, like, I guess I'll see you guys in my office in a couple of hours then, after you guys get rested. Eh, sounds like a good plan Please to me. don't get A-rested. Of course. Ooh, Wouldn't dream of it. And with that, she walks back towards the medical wing, where she has a scout to check on, and we're going to end the session as you guys reconvene inside the fort. Who ended up getting that glitch?